You're right. Don't look good. He hit me with a damn helmet. Let's talk about what else you do to him. You ever try to light him on fire? Hell no. Hell no. So what, that's savage as fuck. Uh -huh. Seven months before he beat a friend to death with a hammer, Timothy Floyd was released from prison after serving sentences for conviction for grand theft and cocaine possession. At 37 years old, Timothy was striving to rebuild his life. He lived in a home in Tallahassee, Florida. Lacking personal transportation, Timothy opted to minimize his use of ride-sharing services like Lyft. Instead, he forged a friendship with 28-year-old Jonathan Spooner, a college graduate who was, for different reasons, also in a transitional phase, working to stabilize his life and figuring out a way to earn enough income to afford a place to live. The arrangement between Timothy and Jonathan was simple. In exchange for transportation assistance, Timothy occasionally provided Jonathan a place to shower and sleep. However, what initially seemed like a mutually beneficial arrangement turned sour when a hostile altercation erupted at Timothy's place. At around 9.40 a.m. on January 25, 2020, an alarm activation prompted police to respond to a vacant residence where they discovered Jonathan's body wrapped in blankets and his head encased in plastic. An autopsy revealed that Jonathan had been bludgeoned with a hammer approximately seven or eight times. The police canvassed the neighborhood to determine if anyone had useful information. Soon, they came upon Timothy Floyd, a neighbor who lives across the street from where the body was found. Initially, Timothy portrayed himself as an innocent neighbor who heard nothing and saw nothing. Timothy, however, volunteered that on the night before, he had gone somewhere via lift between about 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. He told investigators that he would have seen the body at the property if that had been there when he left or returned. And this left investigators to believe that the body had been dumped there sometime between 7 a.m. and the time the alarm at the property went off that morning. However, through a thorough investigation of camera footage, statements from Jonathan's co-workers, Jonathan's phone records, and examination of financial records, the truth was exposed. Jonathan had been actually missing for a few days since January 22, and he had been with Timothy at various places that day. It appeared to investigators that Timothy forced Jonathan to miss work and forced Jonathan to use his debit card for purchases and to withdraw funds from his account. So it turned out that the victim, Jonathan, and Timothy were acquainted, and all evidence pointed to Timothy as the culprit. Investigators obtained a search warrant to search Floyd's home, and when serving the warrant, they transported Timothy Floyd to the police department for a video recorded interview. Now let us dive into the interrogation room where Timothy Floyd gives detectives his version of the chilling details of the events that occurred on that fateful day. Yeah, um, I think you'll be over here. I'll see if they got like a blanket or something. It is a little chillier in here, isn't it? Or they can turn this down. Good afternoon. 
My name is Dan Warren, investigator with Police Department. This is investigator Chris Bridges. You doing that mod like that, man? Yes, sir, we were. You remember yes, me? Sir. I remember you. I was sitting on the front floor looking at you. All right. You all right? I heard you got cold. I know this room gets freezing. Uh, I got some going on. Man. All right. Well, I, we can jump right into that. We have a search warrant for your residence. So right. that's why everybody's there. Um, Judge Richardson signed it today. I got a copy um, that I can get to you. What is it for? What is the search warrant for? Yeah. It's a reference to the, uh, well, here is if you want to read it. Okay. That's a copy of it. Uh, if you want, I can kind of help explain the different parts that helps you. Those are the things we're looking for, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want me to kind of break it down for you? No, I see it. Okay. You know, obviously, you got brought up here. Um, you know, put the police at your house. I want to make sure you understand. So, this is Judge Mar Monique Richardson. This is today's date. She signed the search warrant. Gives us the authority to go in and, and do the search. So, I want you to know where we stand. So, I want to know what well, let, let's get to it. I know um, you've been in trouble before previously. You, you've been arrested before. Is that correct, sir? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had your rights read to you? Yeah. Okay. So you want to dive into it? I want to talk to you, but I got to read you your rights because we're here at the you station. Skip all that. I'm I, I, I'm going to sign it. I, well, I still got to read it to you. I'm with you. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. So let's let's get to it. Um, before you answer any questions or make any statements, you must fully understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights to answer any questions or make any statements. I'm just going to write my name on here, sir. All right. Good. Uh, Mr. Floyd, do you understand the rights as I've explained them to yes, you? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll let you answer there. So you would write yes on that line, number one. Number two, have you previously asked any other law enforcement officer to talk about what's going on? No. All right, having these rights in mind, are you willing to talk to me? Yes. All right, sir, you sign right there. Put the hold it for you. All right, sir, I, I appreciate it. Okay. So, do you know this gentleman? Yeah, that's John. Who is he? Spooner. Spooner? Yeah. Okay, who, who is that? That's my friend. Okay, how, how do you know him? Facebook. You guys are friends on Facebook? Yeah, we're friends on Facebook, dude. We ain't got... Good friend. Now you start giving me rides and stuff. Oh, okay. When, when, when's the last time you saw him? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I mean. Okay. That's no problem. Um, yes, sir. So you, and you call him Spooner? I call him Spooner, yeah. All right. You said y'all met on Facebook? Yes, sir. All right. Let's talk about how, how did that happen? He sent me a friend with You just sent your message out of the blue? Y'all had never met before or anything? No. Okay. So he sent you this friend request about how long ago was that? Uh, if you can get my phone, you can know it's that. Okay. Is your phone at your house? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. We, we can go back to that. Um, but let's, in general terms, has it been like a month, six months, a year, five years? You know, I help say, me out. Um, I got out June. About around October, November. About October, November? Yes, sir. Okay. So October, November. Um, he sends you a friend request. You accept it. When is the first time y'all met in person? Uh, it, it doesn't have to be exact, man. About, about a month after that. So about a month after? Okay. Tell me about that. Where'd y'all meet? Okay. We met at my house. Okay. So okay. he came to your house? He came to my house. 
Because he was trying to sell some Adderall. He was trying to sell some Adderall. Okay, so he so sells he, Adderalls? Yeah, he sells Adderall. He was trying to get me to get somebody to help him sell some Adderall. Okay. So but when I told him, I don't know nobody to sell Adderall. I mean, buy Adderall because I don't do prescription drugs or nothing. I don't sell drugs, period. Okay. So, Which is a good thing, obviously. Yeah. So, but, so he up. But, you know, um, well, let, let's he'll, talk. he'll text me like four or five times a day. He would text you four or five times a day? Yep. All right. What, what's your phone number? But we don't have each other's phone number. All right, well, so it's on message. Oh, it's on Facebook message. Facebook. Okay, so, all right, that's what you mean by text. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right, well, let's go back to the first time he comes to your house. He's coming over there to see if you know anybody to help him sell some Adderalls. Right. Okay. Uh, did he ask you that on Facebook first, or why come to your house to do that? Right. He came to my house to do that, because you don't talk like that on Facebook. Okay. All right. Um, so, about how long was he there? Uh, a minute, or did y'all hang out, or? Um, we sat down and talked about 30 minutes. Okay. And then he left. All right. You remember that conversation at all? Well, uh, I sat down and talked to him. I didn't know he was gay. Okay. You know? So, that kind of just, I was like, yeah, you got to go. Okay. So, and, yeah. All right. Then he left. Right. Like, um. But then after that, you guys continued to talk. You said about four yeah, or five times a day yeah, he hit you see, up? See, after that, we had got straight. Okay. Um. What would y'all talk happened, about on like, a daily basis? He would just give me, like, encouraging words, like, uplifting, things like that. I'd give him a thumbs up, okay, you know. Okay. Then my car broke down. All right. How long ago was that? Uh, my water pump went out in around Thanksgiving. Okay, man, that's a bad time of year for that to happen. Yeah. A lot of family gatherings. That was, that was, that was, but I was getting, in process of getting it fixed now. Okay. But anyway, um, anyway, um, I cashed out, I, I test him, I cash out and tell him to take me to work. So, so, so did you pay him to take you to work? I pay him to take me to work. I cash out. I okay. give him like $10. Then okay. it got to the level, right? Mm -hmm. Where he was like, no, could you just, um, let me stay the night, and then we'll be straight. And I was like, man, that's cool. But then it got to the point, like, he started trying to do that all the time. So mm -hmm. I asked him, man, I said, damn, man, what you homeless? Mm -hmm. He said, yeah. I said, man, listen, man, this is what I do for you, man. I let you stay here at least twice a week, but you ain't finna stay here all the time. Okay. So did, would he stay there twice a week? He'll stay two days a week. Okay. And then the two days a week, he'll take a shower, because he ain't have no other babe or nothing that. Jeez, okay. Okay, and then I gave him some clothes. Okay. I gave him a blanket. Okay. I gave him some sheets. All right, so let's talk about this. So he stays at your house twice a week. When that happens, where does he sleep? Is it the same place every time? Yep. You got a spot for him? Yep, it's his bedroom. It's, 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 it's a mattress in my bedroom that he okay. sleeps in. All right, if I come in your front door, right? If I come you in come my front, front door. room and go to the right. Go to the right. Go to it's, it's a room with real carpet and some mattress in That's where he sleeps. Okay, where'd you sleep? I slept in my bed. Okay, well, which room's yours? Room across the hall. The room across the hall from his, or going to the left? No, on this side is the red. It's the room with the red cover. On this side is my room. Okay. All right. So if I walk in the door, your room's on the left. Right. Being on this side, if I can make a right, his room's with red carpet. Right. And he stayed there about twice a week. Right. Okay. See, did he leave stuff there, or? No, he ain't leave nothing there. Okay. So he didn't have slowly it. moving in or not? He didn't have anything. That's what I'm telling okay. you. He didn't have nothing. Okay. So uh -huh. look. So, so look. We had got an uh, alright relationship, you know. Mm -hmm. we, it wasn't no sexual relationship or none of that, man. It was like a good friendship. Okay. So he became a good friend of you. Yeah, he became a good friend of me, you know. <laughs> so he'll text me and I'll text him back. He'll ask me, do I need a ride to call him later? Mm -hmm. he'll if I ain't got no money, he'll cash out me some. If he need money, I'll cash out him. And then we got close, we got straight like okay. that. Then he started taking me to work. Okay. Because, you know, my car was messed up. Like I said, I'll catch the bus and when, he, when I get off, mm -hmm. he'll come pick me up. And then he'll ask me to stay sometimes. Sometimes it'd be cold as hell out there, man. So I let yeah, him stand up, you know. Cause he was, he told me he was. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, get some drink, get some water. I'm you want here. soda or something? I don't or? want nothing. Uh -huh. Um, what was I saying? He told me he was staying. His sister say um, Woodville. His sister says in Woodville. Okay. I think he said he's staying in Woodville. 
Okay. And he was standing outside the house, man. I said, man, mm -hmm. man, I said, man, you need to do better than that, man. You know, you worked good. Mm -hmm. you, you, you got these scripts. You keep getting these scripts. You selling pills. You know. I said, man, you should be doing better than that, man. But you can't stay with me, though, man. Cause I don't like no man stay with me, man. Cause I just got out for real, and I just said, I just can't do that, man. It's just not your deal. It's just not my deal. Okay. But would he still stay? So, all right. From what I hear you saying, I'm going to summarize it right quick. Y'all met on Facebook. He comes over one day trying to sell some Adderall pills or trying to find, get some help to sell them. Right. Tell him can't work. Your car broke down. That part of transfers into ultimately him giving you rides. And right. at first, he's your cash app. How much would you pay him? Ten. Ten? Yes, sir. All right. How many days a week will he give, uh, you, give you that ride? Um, I catch the bus in um, like 4 o'clock. Okay. I catch the bus in... If I got to, um, it depends on how late it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just get a little. Okay. So, so does he always just take you home from work, and you always take the bus to work, or tell tell me how that piece? I works. take the bus to work. Okay. And then he come get me. All right. And where do you work at, sir? I work at Bumpers. At Bumpers? Yeah. Okay. All right. What time do you normally go to work? Six. Six. All right. We talking p.m. Yes, sir. So six p.m. You go over to Bumpers. About what time you get off? Eleven. All right, and then about what time does he normally pick you up? Around that time. Around 11? Yes, sir. Okay, around 11, he's picking up a bump. Us. And how many days a week is he doing this? Four. Four days a week? Yes, so, sir. So do they have you full-time at bump us or is no, it like part-time? They got you just under 40, so they haven't got to give you the benefits? You mean, we, I don't even get 20, man. And then I got a, a, a I got another job at Quality Floor Pen. Right. So that was, I got a in-between two jobs, but we just slow right now. Okay. okay. Did he ever give you a ride to floor cleaning, yeah. or okay, only bump it? You only take bump. you yes, take sir. you home. Yes, sir. Okay. And then turn two times a week. You let him spend the night there. Yes, sir. Okay. No. Yeah. I didn't. In turn, I. No, yeah. right. It make, I won't make sure I'm but, understanding you. But I cash him gas too. But at the same time, so it's ten plus gas. No, ten ten for gas. Okay. And then sometimes I let him. You know, Stay. sometimes he'll be like, man, just let me take a shower so I can be fresh for work tomorrow. And sure. then I'll go home. I'm like, man, that's cool. Okay. You know, that's the kind of relationship we were. We had a friendship like that. Okay. All yes, right. So it sounds like y'all had a good thing going. Yes, sir. Okay. So when's the last time you had any communication with Spooner? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Yes, sir. All right. So Wednesday morning. I've got to pull that calendar here. Man, it's... I'm gonna, gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened Wednesday morning. Okay, good. Tell me what happened Wednesday morning. I was sleeping on the sofa. You sleep on the sofa Wednesday morning. He got his chick. He, got he was what? happy. His he, chick? His, his check. check. His chick. Okay. He was happy. He got his check. He got up. He went to Boston Ride, yeah, in the glory, hallelujah, finally Jesus, I got my chick. You know? Is this like morning time? This is the morning. It's like early, what time? It's early in the morning, it's around six o'clock, sir. Around six AM. Yes, sir. It's around six o'clock, sir. So okay. he get up, he said, Man, get up, man, let's go get some cigarettes and let's go to McDonald's. Yeah. I said, man, I'm good, man. Okay. You know? So this is what he do. He get on the phone. Okay. And he's talking to some of coworker. He, he called a coworker. Yeah. Okay. Her name was Tiffany. I remember her name. The coworker name Tiffany. was Tiffany. Okay. Okay. Listen, he telling her. He asking her, did he, he cash? She I don't gave him some money. He cashed up her back. Okay. He cashed up her back, and they was talking. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. Then. He said, man, come on, man, let's go to McDonald's or something like that. I'm going to give you 20 off and let me stay there and shit like that. Okay. I said, man, come on. So we go. First we go to Circle K. Right. First we go to Circle so K. So you went with him to Circle K that morning? Yes, sir. Okay, so let, let's play this out. It's 6 a.m. He's up. He's doing the hallelujah dance. He got paid. He's happy. Okay. Okay. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, so he does that. And then you say he called some girl named Tiffany? Tiffany. Are you sure it's a co-worker? Or just a co-worker named Tiffany because they work together. Okay, so he call, she's holl he calling this girl Tiffany. Yes, sir. All right, you say he cashed out her some money? He cashed out her some money. Okay, he's and giving her some money. Yes, sir. And then he says, hey, let's go get a bite. You said Burger King, McDonald's? We went to McDonald's. Okay, and, and you went with him? Yep. Okay. What what kind of cars he have? I forgot to see that. Oh, uh, SUV, uh, Nissan. Okay. A Nissan SUV. Like a real, real big one? Like no, nah, like the mean size. You remember what color it was? Oh, uh, I think it was silver. So he's got silver Nissan SUV. Okay. Yes, All right. And is that what he would always pick you up on, or did he have other cars? No, nah, that's the only car he had. Okay. So he wasn't like borrowing cars from family or anything like that. You no, said he got some family. Okay. So is, that's the car that he took you in with, or took you to uh, McDonald's in. Yes, sir. Okay, so you guys go to McDonald's. Y'all go inside or go to the drive-through? Drive-through. Which one? 
South side, one room. Right there at Orange? Yes, sir. All right, so now it's 6, what is that, 7 a.m. you there, 6.30? No, what, what time? Between 6 and 7. Okay, sometimes between 6 and 7, y'all hit the McDonald's. Yes, y'all go, you go inside to get a bite, or did you no, hit the drive we went, we went to drive through. Okay, so you hit the drive through. Yes, sir. you're with them. I'm with them. Okay. We get hot cake with slices, and yeah. slices biscuit, and then hash brown. All right, he buying because he, he's happy? Or? Yeah, he bought it. All right, so he bought it. Yes, sir. All right, then what happened? And then you went to the bank, at Capital City Bank, and he got me $20. Capital City Bank, where that one at? That's on that's on um, on on Adam Street. Is that where he is that where he banked at? Um, I don't know where he banked at. Okay, so yo, why was he giving you? Why was he throwing twenty bucks your way? Because he said, because I let him stay though. I thought you, you let him stay there in turn for the ride. But he'll still give it to me. That's why I want you to get my phone, man, so you can understand what I'm saying, man. Okay. All right. So, all right. So. They don't make a whole lot of sense, but okay. Because you also paid him for gas, too, right? Yes, so you sir. let him stay there, yes, and now he's just throwing money your he, way. But he, That's the type of person he is, though. He was a good guy. He's a good guy. Okay. That's just the type of person right. he good is. Because he know, this, he know that I get paid on Friday, okay. and it's middle of the week, it's Wednesday, and he know I really ain't got nothing. You get paid every Friday? I get paid every Friday. From bump. So bump. Okay. And then, right. and then he, I, like I just said, I know him, and he'll know me. Sure. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So was it a loan, or was he giving you that 20? I guess he was just giving it to me. Well, what did he say when he gave it to you? He was like, man, you good. You know I mean? Did I need some more? I was like, no. Did he only get $20 or did he get more? No, he just got 20 Okay, so he goes, he gets you up, he's happy, he gets his, his paycheck, y'all go to McDonald's, he gets my case, he's buying for you. Right. Then he goes over to the, uh, the, the bank. The Gap City Bank. Gap City Bank. Yes, sir. And he goes there for no other reason than just to get you that 20 Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, he's a generous guy. All right, so where do you guys go after that cap city? Back to my house. I go back to my house. He said, "Can I take a shower before I go to work?" Okay. I said, "Go ahead, man." All right. And then he called his own another coworker. Called another coworker. I, I, I don't know what her name was, but he was asking her, "Did she need a ride to work?" Okay. And then he was on the phone for a minute. Boom. Okay. Then he told me, he said, "Man, I gotta go. I'm gonna go to Walmart." No, he said he wanted to get a haircut first. A haircut for work? What time yeah. do you normally go to work? Like, nine. Where are you going to go get a haircut for nine? So, you can get some, a couple places you can go. Okay. This is around like seven o'clock. Okay. This is around like seven o'clock. Um, you said we're going to get a haircut for work. Mm -hmm. You said you need to go to Walmart. And then you said you got to go get his brother. Okay. You said you let his brother hold his car. And that was it. He's going to let his brother hold on to his car? Yes, sir. Okay. What do you mean now? Is it? What does that mean? He let his brother borrow his car. He let a lot of people borrow his car. Okay. Yeah. So, would you say that was it? Like, he just bounced or what happened? Did his brother come there and pick up the car? Or no, explain that. He just left. So, it's now Wednesday about, what, 8 o'clock? Um, 9 o'clock? What, what time after McDonald's, Capsule Bank? What time do you leave the house? After the shower? I say 7.15. So, 7.15, he left. He was supposed to go to, what was he getting to Walmart? I, I, he get toilet treats and things like that. Every time he get paid, he go there and probably get an outfit and stuff. Okay. He tell you which Walmart he was going to go to? No. Okay. So, he spent the night Wednesday. Let's backtrack for a sec. What other night did he spend the night that week? You said twice a week. He stayed there Tuesday? Well, I'm sorry. He stayed there Tuesday to Wednesday. So Let what? me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, that week... He stayed, uh, mm, he didn't stay Friday. He didn't stay Saturday and Sunday. He went to Madison. Madison? Yeah, he went to Madison. <coughs> over the, over went, the last week. He went to Madison Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What was he doing out there? I don't know. Okay. But y'all like messages about it? Or he, yeah, this, he, he got, told you what y'all were together? We messaged about it. it, it it's in the text. He uh -huh. was with a girl. Okay. He was with a girl. Is it one of them two that he was talking to at work? No. How you know? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, okay. Right. I don't know. I don't know who he was with. All right, so he's with somebody in Madison. Yes, sir. Okay. Over the weekend? Yes, sir. Okay. And y'all are hitting each other every day? Yes, sir. So but he if we get that phone, your phone, we look at your text, and y'all are talking every day? Yes, sir. All right. And that's normal for y'all every single day? Yes, sir. So, it, so when I start hearing from him, it wasn't normal. When you what? When I stopped hearing from him. When did you stop hearing from him? Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Was he supposed to come back Wednesday night? No. Nah. 
That's what he wasn't supposed to, but I just it just ain't right for me not to hear from him. Cause like every day he he was like You sent a message asking what's up? Yeah. Okay. He text you back? Nope. He didn't say nothing. Nope. Thursday either. Or Friday. No no text, no nothing. Nope. He come around again to get him a shower or anything? Nope. That's last time. And he had dropped the debit card. What do you mean he dropped the debit card? That's what I said, he dropped the debit card. Where at? At my house on the porch. He dropped his debit card yes, at sir. the house on your porch. Yes, sir. Okay. You you still got it? Is I, that the I house? I picked it up. Okay. You holding on to it for yes, him? Yes, sir. Did you text him, hey man, I got your debit card? Nope. Why would you do that? Because I wait for him to come back. I what? know I'm gonna hear from him. Well you worried about him, right? You're like, hey man, what what's up? Where what's you at? Up? What's I got up? your debit card. I asked him. You asked him where he was at. You asked him where he was at? Yeah, because he was supposed to come back. So I know he was coming back. What, well, when he left, did he, like, pick a day that he was coming back for this, like, twice-a-week deal y'all got going on? No, I know. Back? He know I'm going to work. See, we had, like I said, we got to understand. If you get my phone, you don't understand me more. Okay. And that may be something that's, that, that's we, that may be something we can work on, Mr. Floyd. But so I'm just trying to understand. So I want, that's he, what I really want. He, le he leaves Wednesday. So he's at that house. He leaves Wednesday. Yeah. I, I heard what you say about him going. He drops the debit card. Right. You send him a message saying, Hey man, I'm concerned about you. Hey man, where you at? Right. Did you do that every day? Yes, sir. Every single day. Yes, sir. You message him, hey, where you at, where you at? Yes, sir. Did you do it today? No, I ain't do it today. Okay, so not every day. How about yesterday? I ain't do it. I seen him on the news. You saw him on the news? Yeah, I seen you with that. Okay. All right, so what's the last day you did it? Huh? What's the last day you did it? You sent a message to Oh. Uh, it was late Friday, man. Friday. So you see him on the news when you saw him? I seen him on the news. Um, no matter of fact, I seen him on Facebook. On Facebook? Yeah. What did you see on I, Facebook? I was, I was checking his page, and I seen he was missing. So he was missing? Yeah. Wouldn't that be reason to text him even more? But listen to listen. Uh -huh. Remember, I told you he was finna go to Madison. He said he was finna leave everything and go to Madison. No, you didn't say that. You said that he had gone to Madison the weekend before. You said he took the shower. You said he was gonna go to work. You said he was gonna get a haircut. Oh. Then he was gonna go to Walmart. You didn't say he was going back to Madison. Okay, listen. <coughs> he said he wanted to leave and just go to Madison. Period. Oh, he, he was tired. He was tired of everything around him, and he just wanted to up and leave and just go to Madison. But see, I wasn't concerned about him though, sure. because I know he's all right. Uh, well, that's that. Just to be fair, that's different than you say him going to Walmart, get his toiletries, getting his haircut, so it looks good. That's what he's going with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, because right. if, if I'm going to get my haircut, so it looks good for work, I ain't going to skip out on work and it bounce over to Madison. But this is to me. I understand what you're so saying. I'm just trying to but understand. This, I don't know if he, if he, be like, because he's crazy like that sometimes. He'll just flip out like that. Like, he'll just skip I, work I, sometimes. I ain't never known him skip work though. I ain't never known him skip. Work. I know he didn't like it. Okay. Well, tell me more about when you say he's crazy like that. What you mean? Sometimes, like, he'll just he'll get on them pills. On what pills? The Adderall pills he was selling? Adderalls. Yeah, what he'll else? get on them. He'll, he'll, um, he doing anything else? With, um, what's the one that start with a V? V? The one, yeah, the ones you smoke. All right, you know. He does, he does them too. Vitamin. 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 Yeah. No, the prescription pills. Yeah, he's he's done, he does them. Okay, so he does them some time. Was he doing them when he was at your house Wednesday? No. He wasn't doing them Wednesday. No. So, so he wasn't acting crazy because of the pills Wednesday? No. He wasn't. He seemed all right. But he had pills, though. Okay. So. All right. All right. So you got our, you got his debit card. Where in, your, where in the house is the debit card? It's my wallet. Where's your wallet at? In my pants. Like the ones you're wearing? No, in my pants at my house. Your pants at the house? Yeah. Okay, so your pants at the house, you got a wallet in it. And in that wallet is Spooner's debit card. Yeah. He leave anything else there? Nope. Okay. So just the debit card. Yeah. And you was keeping it for safekeeping? Yes, sir. Okay. Till he got back. Till what? Till he got back. Till he got back. Yes, sir. And you never messaged him about the debit card? Nope, because I thought he was going to come back. Okay. Did you use the debit card? No, sir. No. Okay. Nope. You wouldn't do that? Nope. You Because you all are friends. Yeah. You're all straight. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, help us out, man. Where, where do you think happened to him? I asked him if you don't know. You don't know? I asked him don't know. Because, obviously, as you mentioned, we talked the day before, you know he's the person we found across the street, right? Yeah, I heard that. Where'd you hear that from? On, on Facebook. On Facebook? Yeah. So. But the thing about it was, why the fuck he right across the street from my house? That's what I want to know. 
I mean, seriously, that is. Why did you ride across the street? That's from my house. That's crazy. Well, it sounds like y'all have this good relationship, right? So you might be able to help us. So we know he's coming and hanging with you sometimes. Right. And you was trying to help. You want to help some of these Adderall pills. No, you know, I want to help. No, 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 no. That's what he wanted you for, yeah. right? Am I right on that? All right. Okay. So, and then y'all came friends, and you got this this deal where y'all are. Uh, he's staying sometimes, and you know he's driving you. Did did you yeah. Did, speaking of, did you ever drive his car? Or he always drove you. I drove twice. You drove twice. I drove twice. I drove one time when I went. One time when I went to bumper and I got the job. Okay, so he lent you the car. Yes, sir. Where was he when he lent you the car? At your house? Oh, he was at work. Uh, okay, so you drove him to work. Yeah, I drove him to work, and how, then I went and got a job. How long ago was that? That was December. December, dang. Okay, yeah, he he seems like a decent guy. That was in December. That's trusting, man. Okay, yeah, so and there was another time where I really needed to wash clothes. He didn't me the car. Okay, and where was he that time? Work too? He was at work. Okay. I was late picking him up that day. You were late picking yeah. him up? And he was okay. mad about that shit because... Um, he was, did, he, did he hit you up on Messenger, give yeah. you a piece of his mind? Yeah, he was mad. Right. I, I got drunk. How long? I passed, I passed out. Oh How long ago was that? That was like uh, a month and a half ago. month and a half ago. Yes, so sir. quite a while ago. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to him being in your, your neighborhood. So it's great that you know him so well. You might be able to help us out. Who else does he know over there? I don't know. Does he know anybody else? Cause I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who all he knows. All right, well, let, let's talk about that for a minute, because you may know more than you think. You, you know that he's hollering at these two girls at work. He's giving a one girl to Venmo. He's calling the other girl about getting a ride. Who else has he called while he's at your house? Because yeah. the man's sleeping there, so yeah. what else have you heard? If you get my phone, you can you can see anything that anything that you want to know about him, about mm -hmm. what's been going on, because he tells me everything, man. If you get my phone, I'll put it on right now for you. Okay. And your phone is where? It's at my house. Where in the house? It was right by, it was right on the sofa. Right by the sofa. Okay, like I said, you, we can work on that. I, I want to take you I, on that. I, I won't, listen, I want you to get my phone because I want to get the fuck out of here, man. Perfect. And, and I can appreciate that, Mr. Floyd, because the sooner we can get past you, if you got nothing to do with this, the sooner we can move on and you know, find out what happened to your friend. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with this shit, man. Hell no. Okay, so he's there last there Wednesday. I'm glad you got his debit card. Um, what was he wearing when he left your house Wednesday? What was he wearing? Mm -hmm. I, I gave him a, um, I gave him a, um, I'm going to say well, after everything I gave him again, I gave him a, um, a blanket, a sheet, because he was cold. Mm -hmm. He had nothing. When he, when he was in the car, he had nothing to work with him. I mm -hmm. gave him a blanket, a sheet. I think my blanket was red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave him a red blanket because I didn't want to get him uncomfortable. Okay. My, my comfort that my mom gave him, I didn't want to get him that. Right. So what about the blanket? What about You said you gave him a blanket, a I sheet? I gave him a blanket, a sheet. What did blanket look like? It was red. Okay, so there's a red blanket. What else you give him? A uh, blanket sheet. I gave him. Um, oh, I'm sorry. What's the sheet look like? Um, the sheet that I got on my bed. Is the sheet that you got on your bed? Yeah. Okay. You look like the sheets I got on my bed. Well, I'll be honest. I've been in your house, sir. So, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's your um, sheets look like, man? I think, I think they got. Um, I think they got flowers on. You got some flower sheets? Yeah, flower. Um, cause I had like roses three, or I something? Because I got three of them. You got three of them. Yeah, so I got three of them, so I gave him one. Like what color ro what color flowers? They like roses, they like like bright red. What are we talking about? No, they ain't bright red, they like uh, like pink really. Okay. So you have some pink flower sheets. Right. Okay. So he can lay on the bed so he can lay on the bed with. Uh, okay, so he made him on a bed. Yeah. Okay. So, but, so they're at your house on his bed. The yeah. sheets you gave him. Yeah. But when he ain't eat, but he but he can take it with him. When he when he don't stay with me. Cause he had got another house. Okay, so he took those sheets with him? Yeah. Okay, so they're not at your house on his bed? No. I, mean, I say his bed to room you let him sleep. No, he's not, he's not in there right now. Oh, uh, okay. He took right. it with him. All right. Well, we went from what he was wearing to you, you telling us some sheets. Okay. Um, what, what was he wearing when he left Wednesday? That's um, important. That could be big for us. The green, I gave him a green sweater and some, and a green and checkered white shirt. Okay. Green sweater, green checkered shirt. Yeah. I, okay. gave, um, I gave him some black snacks. Some blacks like like church slacks. Yeah, like, I got some black slacks. Okay. And then I gave him my spirit because his boss daddy said that he couldn't wear his tennis shoes at he he couldn't he couldn't. His what his spirits? My spirits. Spirits. Oh, okay. Dress shoes. All right. What color were they? They were brown. Okay. Was that just for that day? Like, is he borrowing? Well, I a bag or what's the deal? Borrowing from him, man. But you know what? I ain't want him no more because he a woman. His feet was stained. <laughs> Real talk, man. You know what I mean? Real talk. Hey. People stand. And hey. I just done, I just say, man, go ahead and keep them, man. Them the first pair of shoes I bought when I got out. It was $110, man. 
Jeez, that's, man, that's, that's nice of you. You let him borrow them hundred dollars. Yeah, he was nice to me. That's true, that's sir. That's why that's, that's, that's type of relationship we had, man. Okay. He was nice to me. I was nice to him. You know? Okay. We did. Well, why the heck did he end up across the street? Tell me. What I, I'm trying to pick your brain. You, you're there. You have this good relationship with him. He stayed in your house twice a week. He was last day or Wednesday. Um, you, know, so you, you helped me out. Well, listen, man. What, what you think he was doing over there? I actually don't know. I don't know. Because you, you got to admit, it's strange he's right across the street from your house. I understand that, man. But like I said, man, when I left to go to work at 3 o'clock, mm -hmm. that morning, it wasn't nobody across that street, man. When I came back at 7 o'clock, it still wasn't nobody across that street. So, where you went to work at? At uh, Temple Israel. Where, where is that? At preschool. That's you doing your stuff? Doing janitorial. It wasn't nobody across that street, man. Yeah. You know, and all the car passed by, ain't nobody seen Look, let me ask, let me ask you this, Mr. Ford. Anybody mad at him? He, he talking about having beef yeah. with anybody? Yeah, listen, so. okay, we can get to that too. I took off for him twice. You know what? I took off for him twice. I stood up for him. To him? Um, it was a guy that used to loan his car to that used to do car detail. Okay. So, one day, they got into an altercation mm -hmm. because he felt like the man was getting over on you trying to use cup, and he got tired. I said, man, you need, you need to start telling people, no, man, put your foot down, man. And being too nice, you're getting taken yeah, advantage of. You're getting taken advantage of, man. Mm -hmm. So one day, the man was on the phone with him, man. Mm -hmm. He was hollering, and I said, man, give me that phone, man. Hey, how long ago, how long ago we talking? The same day I went to the laundry, man. This was, um, say, a month and a half ago. Month and a half ago. The same day he let me know, hold his car to go to the laundry, man. And I passed that on my, on, on, on my sofa. When I was drunk. That's the day you got drunk and he, yeah, he was, he was he hollering was, at he you. Was, he okay. was on the phone up. That's uh -huh. the same day. Well, when you said blowing up, you mean by messenger, right? Yeah. Okay. Did, well, did he call you? Yeah, call me Facebook. He called me messenger. He, he called, called your me. messenger. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So I said, man, listen, man, you ain't finna keep putting down on my partner like that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, and the man got me mad because he said, man, you ain't, you ain't finna talk. I said, man, where you at right now then, man? I said, well, I'll be riding up. So we go riding up. Right, where'd you go? It was the house off. In the area of, I'm not specific, but I know in the area of Gibbs Drive. Oh, what? Gibbs? Gibbs Drive. You go to a house like Gibbs Drive? Yeah. For what? A black dude. What'd you go over there for? To see what they were talking about. Well, you talking to him on the phone? Oh, I want to talk to him face to face. Okay. Since, did, since, I, since I didn't want to be talking to you like that. Okay, did Spooner go with you? Yeah, he drove. Okay, all right, so you guys go over to Gibbs Drive and then tell me what happened. So I got a car and said, man, what you talking about? Okay. He said, man, just, I don't got time for that. Just let me get my stuff out of the back of the truck. So his stuff was in the back of the truck? Yeah, his cleaning stuff. Uh, that was about a, a month and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, a month and a half ago. That's okay. when I really gained his dog. That's when you really what? Gained his truck. Gained Spooner's truck? Yeah. Okay. When I stood up for him. Another time, man, he was in an Adderall. Like I told you, he get the script, he would say Adderall. He would send an Adderall. Mm -hmm. So, um. How'd he sell it? I don't know. He just sold them by Peter. Okay. Anybody ever come to your your house to get no. some matter off from him? No. Okay. Ain't nobody never come around my house. <clears throat> Excuse me. For him. Mm -hmm. No. Sure. All right. So what what else happened on Gibbs? Um. With some dude. Was that it? That was it. Y'all didn't like go to blows. Nothing. Didn't no blow up. No. He just. You told him to leave Buddy alone. He got his stuff out of the car, and y'all bounced. No, not with that. That was it. Another time. The other time, um, it was in Wakulla. What color? You guys drove to Wakulla together? Yeah. Okay, tell me about that. How long ago was this? Thanksgiving, in between, it was after Thanksgiving, but before Christmas. After Thanksgiving, but before Christmas? No, 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 no. Around December 2nd. Uh -huh. Right so there, because that, that's when he finished prescription. Okay, so around December 2nd, yeah. he got prescriptions, y'all went to Wakala. Yeah. All right, tell him what happened with Wakala. We go to Wakala, man. What for? He said I had So you're going just, with him to help him? Yeah. Okay, is he spotting you some money or yeah, what? He's gonna, okay. he gonna give me some money because he don't, he feel like the dude pushing over. Is it the same dude from before or no? no so now it is a different dude. Yeah, uh -huh. but it turned out to be a cheat. 
Okay. So I'm missing. You're going with him because you said this dude is pushing on him. Right. It's a chick. Well, it turned out when we get there, it's a dude up. I don't know his name. It's a big right. black dude. Okay. But I can tell you where we went. If you mm -hmm. go all the way down Woodville Highway, mm -hmm. you're going to run into a, um, it's a Dollar General right here. It's a store right here with a liquor store. And it's a, it's another little store right here. Because mm -hmm. we made a left and turned down the dirt road. Mm -hmm. And went all the way around to the back. And it's, um, it was like the third house right there we turned in on. It was a big black dude. Somebody he went to school with or something like that. So he knew this guy? Yeah, he knew this guy. Okay. I thought he was going there to meet a chick. This, he ended up selling the pills to a chick. Oh, okay. But was he going to see the dude or the chick? He was going to see the dude. Okay. He's going to see the dude. Because the dude from the get over on which, how he was going to go wrong? He was going to take his pill. How do you know that? Because he told me. Well, then why would he go? I don't know. That don't make no sense. But he told me to go with him. Okay. So I went with him. Why? And he ended up getting $100. And he gave me 40 Okay. The, the part I'm missing is why the heck would he go and freaking go over there if he knew the old boy was going to try to smell his pills? Cause he, we could sell it to other people. Because he knew I was going to be building. And you know he went on a problem. Okay. He felt. He felt All right. So, but th th that's it. He, so he's got one guy that may want to try to take advantage of him on selling some pills, and he got another guy that wants to get some stuff out of his car. Right. Uh, and both of those things are like a month or so ago, at least month yeah, and a half. You know, it's been a while. Nothing recent. Nothing, Nothing that helps us know what the heck happened to him on Wednesday after he left your house around seven o'clock, seven fifteen. Well, he bounced. Nope. Hmm. That's fun. We really need help, man. Um, <clears throat> you said that he. Y'all talked over Facebook, and he pretty much told you all the problems that he was going through. Everything. Everything. Yes, sir. So he would have told you if he had somebody that was giving him an issue, like, recently, uh, within the last week or two. What issue did he tell within you? Within the last week or two, the only issue that I know he had, he had rented an apartment. He said he had just got a new apartment. Okay. And the dude, he paid the dude $100, and the dude ended up kicking him out. And then we'll have it back before we really about that. Did he ever stay there or no? He stayed there twice. He stayed there twice. He said he stayed there two days. And okay. he was mad about that. Where did he go when he got kicked up? He came to me. He came to your place? Yeah. When he came, did he come alone? Yeah. Huh? He came to me. Uh, so he never brought any friends or anything like that? Never brought anybody. Wednesday, definitely nobody with him. He never brought anybody around my house any time. What he said about him kicking him out? I don't know. He didn't tell you? But he said the dude was on drugs, bad, on Flocka or whatever, and he just couldn't take that. The dude that kicked him out was on Flocka? Yeah. So did he get kicked out because the dude was on, or did he leave because the dude was on Flocka and he couldn't take it? No, he said the dude said that was a loan. The $100 he gave him, he said that was a loan. He told me he had to go. Okay. So did he leave because he so he got left because he got kicked out, not because he was on Flocka and giving Spooner a hard time. Right. Okay. But um, he said that a lot of people hold the car, man. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know all these people. Okay. I don't know all these dealings. Huh. But it's been a long time since you've been in that car. That time I was in that car Wednesday morning. You were in the car Wednesday morning. I told you that when we went to McDonald's. Okay, I'm sorry. Last time you drew, you held the car. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah. Last time you drew out the car. Yeah, I know you were in there going to McDonald's, but the last time you held the car while he was at work. It's been a while since you've been in there. Yeah. It's been a minute since you actually sat in that driver's seat and actually drove that car. Yeah. It, it's been a while. Yeah. Okay. I told you I didn't say about two times. Just, to, just the, the two you told us. Yeah. All right, well, we need your help then, Mr. Floyd, because um, I like pictures. Pictures kind of help. Show the story. It's one thing to be told something, it's something different to actually see it. Yeah. You agree? Yes, sir. Alright. So, let's talk about his car. His car was found kind of close to your house and the house where he was found. Okay. It was found up the road. Alright. Yeah, our printer is absolute crap, but you recognize that guy walking away from that car? No, sir. You, do you recognize um, the jacket that that person's wearing? No, sir. Never seen anything like that before? No, sir. 
Okay. And that bright yellow, I mean, it looks like a freaking highlighter. That, that would definitely stick out, right? Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, did, did Spooner ever have a jacket like that? You ever see of anything like that? I don't know. Okay. Do, I, do I you, never seen do you have anything like that? No, I don't own nothing like that. Okay. Is that you? Nope. That's definitely not you. Definitely not me. 100%. 100%. Okay. I got, I got another question for you, man. Yeah, like I said, big on pictures. Helps me out. Where'd that come from? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Well, you pulled it from your trash can this morning. Inside your trash bag with stuff with your name on it, your beer bottles. So... Is that mine? Mr. Floyd. I don't even trash. That's not going to go well for you, man. Uh, li listen, I, I know you've been locked up before. I know you don't want to do it again, but listen. I need to know the truth. I don't. Let, let's talk for two seconds. Do you trust? Two seconds. That's it, please. I will respect you. I want to hear what you have to say, but just listen to me. All right. I have a lot of evidence in this case. A lot of things I want to talk to you. I ain't going to throw it all down. Some of it I'm going to do to test you to see what you're going to be straight with me. I know what happened to Spooner. I want to know why. I, I want to, listen. This is just a small piece. You telling me that this right here. And you have no idea why it was in your trash can? Pull up your trash can. He's found across the street. He's last at your house. Last place that he was at before you said he left. His car's parked near your house. Guy walking out his car. We have him on video going back towards your house wearing that rain jacket. And you throw this away? I don't got nothing to do with this, sir. Okay. So there's no way on earth. Prints, DNA, nothing of yours is going to be on that. No. Oh, okay. Even though it was inside your bag of trash. That's not mine. I, I can go back to my computer. I can print you where we took it out of your trash. That's cool. With, with pictures of your, your uh, I think it was work checks, maybe some pay stub stuff. First two. I mean, I, I can, that, that's not good for you. Listen, man, I don't got nothing to do with okay, it. So, so let, let's, let's use some reason, some logic. How, how did it get there? Yeah, you tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm asking you, sir. That's what I need to know. And you, you know, some people, some people think that we come in here and. and Listen, we, I ain't coming here to play. I came here to get the fuck out of here. Well, we, I ain't got nothing to do with this man, though. Well, Absolutely he, nothing. Look, Absolutely nothing. Well, and, and that's what I need your help for. It, it truly is. That's what I need my phone for, man. What's in your phone? I'm telling you, so you see everything that's going on, man. I ain't never had no bad relationship with that man. We ain't never had no words. No words? No, no, no discrepancy, no nothing. Uh, this is a little bit different. The fact that it's in your trash bag. Well, that, ain't got, that ain't mine. It's not yours? No. How, how could it have gotten in there? I don't know, sir. You No idea? No. No. You believe me that we found it in your trash bag, right? Is that what you say? Okay. Would, would a picture help you, or I've are you going to take me out my way? I've been, I've been home all day. So, okay. so which, which is good. So, you going to take me out my word, or you want to see some more pictures with it, with your birth certificate, with you know the, the no, other I stuff? I ain't got to see nothing of it. Okay. So, so, you got no issues with the fact that I'm telling you we found this in your trash bag. Yeah. You, you, you take my word on it. Yeah. All right. Cool. But this well, you, So, let, let's kind of pretend this puzzle here. So we got you and Mr. Spooner. All right. Okay. You guys are friends. He stays at your house sometimes. He stayed there Wednesday. Right. After Wednesday, he goes missing. Right. He don't show up for work. Right. Okay. So that's not good. All right. Um, his body's found literally across the street from your house. It's not like on the other side of Tallahassee. It's across the street from your house. Right. You got his debit card. Right. All right. The guy that dumped his car, dumped it right up the road, he's wearing the rest of this outfit. And this outfit's in your trash can. And this, like I said, this is just a small piece. Right. But we could agree that doesn't look good for you. Right, but, but at the same time, man, that ain't like, that ain't like no whole jacket. Like what that man got on, that's just like a hood. And I don't know what fuck that came from. Yeah. I definitely don't. I don't think you're telling me the truth on that, but we can go back to it. Uh, I'm telling you the truth on everything. 
tell the truth on everything? Everything. I ain't got nothing to lie. Right. So, this is you. We both know it's you. That's a picture of you from the other day. Yeah, we talked to you. Yeah. Okay. And you said you got uh, Spooner's debit card. Yeah. Never used it. Nope. Okay, well, this is you fixing you Spooner's debit card wearing the same jacket. Like I said, we got a shitty printer, but we got a lot more. We got the whole video on it, but that's your same jacket, and unfortunately, that's Spooner's hat, bro. That's me. Yeah, that's you. And you used his debit card. I didn't use his debit card. Period. I got it there, but I didn't know you. Well, guess what? what? Why do you think we have this picture? I don't know. We have this picture because you're saying this is you. Yes, this me. this guy on the video uses his debit card to make a purchase. As it is after Wednesday. So you saying this is you. The store records in their video saying you use Spooner's debit card to make a purchase. You told me you didn't use it. I didn't use it. How does that make sense? I paid cash. How does that make sense? I paid cash when I went in them. Okay, so the bank records are lying. Yeah. Is, how would I know what time to look to see when you went to the I store? Don't know, man. I mean, it was by happenstance at the time we went to look at the store and the person using Spooner's debit card, boom, is you? I ain't used the card, sir. Right hand card, I ain't never used that card. You? I ain't listen. never used that card. I don't even know the pen number, sir. You don't, need, you don't know the pen number? I don't know the pen number. Okay, so I come back here with a video and a bank record showing that this person that we agree is you is using his debit card, his credit card. You see why that's another problem? Yeah. Well, that's that's truth. No BS. I can bring a computer in here and I can show you that. I can show you some bank records, but we can sit here and I can put, can put pieces of paper in front of you all day. What happened? I don't know. I definitely don't know, sir. I don't know what happened to that man. Mr. Floyd, I've talked to a lot of people in this room sitting in the exact same seat that you are right now, okay? I try to be respectful to them, try to be straight with them, but they always think that, you know, lying is the best way. But I'm here to tell you it is not because it, only, it makes you look guilty. You talk about, no, it is. I never used a debit card. Video says you're full of crap. You say that that's you, the video shows you using the debit card, it is what it is. You're saying that this piece of this jacket didn't get in your trash can, you have no idea how it is, but you agree that it's there. Okay. We can keep going round and round, and I can show you more and more and more, but we're not going to do that. Man. Something happened between you and Sponer. I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know if it came at you. I don't know if you broke in your house in the middle of the night and you had to defend yourself. I don't know. But this is the only time we're going to talk where you get a chance to tell me what happened. I do not know what happened to that man, sir. I honestly do not know what happened to that man, sir. I do not know. No clue. I do not know what happened to that man, sir. But we agree that we got some major issues, his body being across the street from I your house. That's we agree true. that you being on video using his credit card and your credit card, his credit card being in your wallet is a big deal. We can agree that the fact that the car got dumped right up the road from his house where you dump it and you walk back and you're captured on video going back towards your house wearing that same yellow jacket and we find a piece of it in your garbage can, we can agree those are all problems, correct? Well, that's not my, that's not me walking from that car, man. I ain't have a damn car. I ain't had that man car. So, I ain't had his car. You know. No, I ain't got his car. Okay. You can sit here, you can say it's not you, but we can agree, logically, that's a big problem that that guy on video, I can, we have it, goes back towards your house. Walk in that direction. He went a mile. I said towards your house. Okay. But you can agree that it's, it's, a, it's a chance that that's not me. Well, it, the fact that a piece of the jacket's in your trash says otherwise. I don't, let, let, let me, I, don't, let, I don't own none of that shit. I don't own okay. no jacket like that. I don't. But own the other stuff in your trash can is yours. Yeah. The beer bottles, the, what was it? The, the beer bottles. The, yeah. Your birth certificate. My birth certificate was in there? Your pay stubs. Uh oh, my pay stubs probably so. Why, why are you throwing away your pay stubs and your birth certificate? I don't know. I need court papers. You don't know why you're throwing that stuff away? I don't know court papers, what? court papers. Why are you doing that? 
Why are you cleaning house? I mean, seriously, who would throw away a birth certificate? I didn't even know I thought my birth certificate was a, a real one. No, it's a copy. It's a copy. I don't keep Jake on uh, pay stuff, though. But a birth certificate copy. Kind of trash bags you use? Um, the ones I get from the own job. It's a color on it. You can do it. Okay. Where do you keep your, where you, where you, where do you keep your trash in your house? I don't have a trash can. You just put them in a bag? Yeah. Just throw the bag in the trash. Yes, sir. When, you take, when, you, when do you take your trash in the cook, curb? Um, one day, Monday you, night. You pull it out to the curb one day? Yeah. From what side of the house? This is right there by, by, by my own, by the fence, my trash can. So, it's not logical that somebody would go in your trash can open up a trash bag and put something in it, right? No. And then close it up. No. Without you knowing about it. No. That, that's not... That's not logical. Right. So when we talk about this man in the yellow hood walking back to your house, towards your house, wearing the exact same type of material, same type of clothing, and then that ended up in a trash bag alongside your documents that you agreed that was in the trash, right? Right. How do you explain that? I, I, I don't know how to. Do you want you don't remember putting it in there? No. Had it ever been in your house? No. Okay. I never owned a jacket like that. You never owned a raincoat? No, sir. Um, anybody ever been to your house with a raincoat on? No, sir. Anybody else come to your house? Yeah, a lot of people come to my house. Wearing a yellow raincoat? No, sir. Because that's pretty... Distinct, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so how do we get past a body being found of somebody that you associated with very closely that's been in your house? Something from their cars found at your house. The range coat inside of a trash bag that makes its way outside the house into a trash can. And then we find it along with your documents, with your name on it. And not necessarily just your name on it, it's just your birth certificate. How do you explain that? I don't know. I didn't even know I thought my birth certificate was away for long. Yeah. So your DNA is not going to be on the outside of that? Outside of what? That raincoat. Hell yeah, no. Well, let's talk about it. Absolutely no. Let's talk about it for a second. Will you be willing to give us a DNA sample? Yeah. We can use to compare. You, know, you, already, you, you already got my DNA. Well, it's a little different. Uh, and I don't have your DNA. You talking about like your DNA is in the system somewhere? Yeah. That's what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's, it's different. We got to get it like from you fresh. You know, know, I'd rather do whatever you want me to do. So, you're good with that? Yes, sir. All right, I'll be right back. You good? Yeah. You know we're interested in the problem, who did it first. Right. This is the thing. How do you explain this, man? This is the thing, man. This is the thing, man. I don't got nothing to do with that man getting killed, man. Who do you think? Who would have done it? I don't know. Who would have? I mean, what circles he run in that somebody would have? He got a lot of friends, man. And he ain't told you nothing that was going on. I, if you get my phone, I, like I told you, man, you can see. I mean, you don't remember nothing? No. So what was the last conversation you had with him? I had a conversation I had with him this. Oh, okay. I get up my phone. He left his phone at my house. I mean, his charge at my house. He came back to get it. What was it? Um, Tuesday. This was Tuesday. What time was it? It was on about seven. Seven. So about seven something on Tuesday night. Seven night, yo. Tuesday night, Tuesday night. <laughs> seven something. He was at trial? No, he came out when he got off work. I get a charge. He said his phone was on one percent, and he needed to talk to me. Yeah. Right, that was the last time. Was that the last time I seen him? Yeah, last conversation you had with him. No, the last conversation I had with him was on. 
Well, we went to McDonald's, sir, okay. And what'd he say? He was like, you were just happy, I got a check. How much was the check? I don't know. Okay. And he arose to Capital City to get you some money out. Yeah. And then, where y'all go from there? He took me home, took a shower, and he left. Where, this, where, was, where was he headed when he took the shower? The, um, he said he was going to Walmart, and then he said he was going to um, get his brother. So what time did he leave his house? Did he leave my house? Yeah. Around 7.15. So you leave your house around 7.15, what time you got to be at work? Who got to be at work? Uh, just one. I think around 9. So you got to be at work around 9, and you plan on doing all of that before 9, and you yeah. never late to work? No. Nah. That don't make sense, man. Why well, don't make sense? He do it all the time. He go to Walmart, he get his brother out of North Monroe. And he go to Walmart down there on North Monroe. And he'll take his brother. And then he go to work and get that brother over the car. He do that all the time. So which point you find he's missing? Uh, um, I ain't done. I ain't know he was missing until Friday. Until Friday? Yeah. Cause I asked, cause he was supposed to come back, and I asked him. I said, "Damn, man, what's up, man? I thought you were coming back, and then he didn't respond." So this Wednesday, and y'all know we talk every day, and mm -hmm. you haven't heard from him the rest of Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You heard from him Thursday. Mm -hmm. What happens those days? You try to contact? Yeah. On, mm -hmm. on Facebook. What do you say? Nothing. 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 Just dead silent. Yeah. Um. Is that unlike him? Yeah, that's unlike him. So you, no matter what, he's going to say something. Yeah, yeah, every day. Okay. Um, so when does it go by? When does it go by? Friday goes. Come on, what happens Friday? Same thing. Nothing. Nothing. How many times you try to reach out to him? Twice. A day? Yep. What times? Oh. Uh, you got to get my phone. I mean, is it morning and night or... Morning, afternoon. Well, I don't. I ain't gonna lie. I don't text him like he texts me. What you mean? I don't. He he texts me all the time. Like what? What you mean when you say all the time? Is that like, like? You got phone though, man. You got sore to you. Okay. Um. Did he? Did it seem like he felt obligated to text you or anything? Or he just did it. He just did it. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. So Friday comes, you try to text him again? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, Saturday morning come, and you see we out there, right? What happened Saturday? Saturday morning I went to work. Mm -hmm. And you out where? I went to work at 3 a.m. How did you get there? We left. The left camera got you at 3 a.m. Yeah. Um, did you try to reach out on Saturday? I didn't get a chance to. Okay. Like, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. I did. I did. What did you say? He didn't say that. What did you say? I don't remember. Yeah. You don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, when you get back home, what time do you get back home? 7 in the morning. Anybody outside? No. Nobody outside? No. Um, I don't know if anybody, when I pulled up, nobody went outside. I went to sleep. Okay. When he come to your house, do you know him to tell you before he come or he just show up? He tell me. So it would have been unlikely that he was headed there without telling you? Yeah. He'll say on my way, can I come by or something like that. Okay. Anybody know he was coming over there? When? At all. I mean, anybody know he had been standing there or anybody know he was there or anything? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, did what he had told somebody, hey, I'm going to the to house? I don't know. Okay. Um, but he would always contact you before he came over there. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, How you think he ends up across the street? I don't know. No clue. No.
Mr. Floyd. Sure. All right. This is a consent to search form. This is a form that we need you to sign for us to be able to get the buckles while we talk about it, okay? Sure. Um, I'm going to explain it to you, but in layman's terms, you don't have to. You're not being forced to. Um, you can tell us no. All right. Uh, well, let me read this to you. ID Warren. I'm sorry. I completely put this out wrong. Have you write your name? But I. This is just together. I normally stand over here. I get myself all out of whack because I'm thinking a couple things. All right. So, if you could start to print your name here, which is I. I don't want to write anything in for you. And we'll go over it together, right? So, I, Timothy Floyd, having been informed of my constitutional right not to have a search conducted of the above mentioned person without a search warrant, and my right to refuse to consent to such a search hereby authorized, it's going to be me. Close law. Yes, sir. Let's get a warrant. Let's get a bridges. Officers of the Thomas Police Department or their designee to search the above mentioned person and seize any swabbing which they may desire. This, writ this written permission is being given to the above named officers voluntarily and without threats or promises of any kind. So if you do that, need you sign right there for me. Alright, sir. Put these gloves on. Willing to open up your mouth for me. Right, I'm going to take this, put it right back into this brand new package that I open. I'm going to put it inside this evidence envelope. I'm going to seal it up in front of you and put your name on it. No question. Your DNA. My initials, today's date, uh, Mr. Floyd. I know your name, but go ahead and spell your first name for me. T I N O. O T H Y. Spell Floyd. F L O Y D. And your birthday, sir? Seven thirty one, nineteen eighty two. Uh, spell your name correctly, Timothy Floyd. And that's your correct birthday. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. So. <clears throat> All right. So let's go back to Mr. Spooner. Yes, sir. All right. So you had said you messaged him about five times every day. No, you meant. Did I message him five times every day? Well, you say you guys message each other about five times every day. Is that correct or did I misunderstand you somehow? You messaged me probably more than that. So you guys message each other more than that? Well, I don't message him back that much, man. I just send him a phone up and say, okay, or whatever. I asked him, can you come get me? Okay. But it sounds like, for the most part, there's not a day that goes by where you guys don't have not a day that don't go by that I don't hear from that man. And that's been consistent since y'all met? That's been consistent since... I've been consistent since around Thanksgiving. Just about Thanksgiving. Okay. So we're talking a matter of months now, right, yeah. where that's been consistent. And that's normal. Up until, remind me of what day it was. So he he, he leaves what day um, to go to work. When's the last day you messaged him? That, that message was Friday. Friday. Last day you messaged him? Saturday. Saturday or Friday or Saturday. Because I was telling him, man, look, you see your page, man. People is looking for you, man. Okay. And they draw on your text. Yeah. Looking for people, them. people looking for you, man. I was telling him, man, hey, I don't know if he had left and went to Madison or mm -hmm. uh, whatever because he said he was getting tired of people getting over and you were saying shit like that. So, uh -huh. um. But you never tell him you got his credit card. Nah. I didn't even think about that shit no more. Well, you thought enough to pick it up and put it in your wallet. 
I ain't even think about it though, Voodoo. Okay, so you never mentioned that too? No, but because it was it was ironic, man, because it, it's right. strange that it don't know day go by when I don't want to hear from that man. Sure. So, and you stopped messaging him. Remind me again, you said you you found something out. Why, why did you stop messaging him? Because I looked on his Facebook page. Okay, and what did you see? That he had been found, that he had been identified. Okay, and when his, it said on Facebook, did it say he was found on Ridge Road? Yeah. Okay. And you remember we talked, right? Yeah, me and you talked. We talked. When you learned your good buddy, Mr. Spooner, who you last spent the night at your house on Wednesday, right. and you saw all those police in that yard, Tuesday, when you learned... Tuesday night. Right. On Tuesday night, he left Wednesday morning, the guy just threw you a $20 bill, bought you some, um, what was it, McDonald's, bought you some breakfast. He's right. a generous guy. And you and I had talked... And you learned that his body was found right across the street. Right. You didn't think to call me? You didn't think to call the police and be like, hey, I know you were looking for him. He was over here just the other day. I should have did that. Yeah, probably should have. Why didn't you? I should have did You that. cared about him. He's your buddy. I He's helping you out. Why would you not pick up the phone? I should have did that. Yeah. I should have did okay. that. So why didn't you? I, I did. You just... I should have did that, though. Yeah. I damn sure should have did that. Damn sure should have did what? that. You should have been like, I got his debit card. He was, over, he was here. over here. Here's exactly what happened. I know we talked the other day. He's my good friend. Let's find out who got this guy. But that's not what you did. I, I should have did that. But you didn't. I ain't even get your card. I ain't getting nothing from you. You know what 911 is? You know how to get the police, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's not pretend it's because you don't know how to get in touch with the police. I, okay. I should have did that. I mean, well, you yeah. cared about this yeah. man. This man was in your yeah. house the other night. Listen. You ain't, you ain't put the damn news out there by, by the name till Monday. Okay, don't don't throw it back on us. This no, 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 no. But listen, though, man, and you can't keep my door in too. Okay. You, know? you learn that the guy that was sleeping in your house, the guy that's throwing you money, the guy that you're standing up for going all the way to these different places, I mean, you're front for him for people you don't even know to defend him, so he's your friend, right? You right. care about him. I care about him. care about him a lot. Yes, sir. Okay. So you guys care about each other. You care about him a lot. He does stuff for you. You do stuff for him. You're giving him clothing. You learn that the guy found across the street when all the police are there working is your buddy. And you don't freaking call. And you can't explain why. Just like you can't explain how you used his credit card. I didn't use that credit card. Listen, I, I'm not going to sit here and let you lie on yourself. It's Listen, all video. I've been, I been, yeah, I've been in this stuff, man. Those people know me all the time, man. I ain't using sure. no credit card. No. Sure. So you're saying the bank records are lying. His credit card was used by you. You're saying the bank records are wrong. I ain't, I use cash. That's man. what you're saying. I use cash, man. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I use cash. Well, how do you think we got that video and knew when to look? I don't know. Because his credit card was used? We didn't go look at that video just because. We didn't go through there and just start looking at video and say, oh, hey, look. No. It's because that's the exact date, time, and location his credit card was used. Okay. So you're lying. I'm we not, know you're lying. I'm not lying about anything, man. I don't got nothing to lie to you about. I don't got nothing to hide from you. Nothing at all? At all. I don't got nothing to hide from you. Okay. But you can't make sense of any of the things that we're talking about. You can't make sense about the top of the uh, yellow rain jacket being in there in your trash can. You can't make sense of... Um, the, you were using his credit card, being caught on it. You can't make sense of those things. So let's cut to it. What happened between you and Spooner? Nothing. 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 Nothing happened between me and John. Nothing. The man left and I ain't see him no more. He took everything he had. Yeah, he took everything he had. He ain't have nothing. Except his debit card. Except his debit card. Didn't take his debit card. That's the only thing he left. That's the only thing he left. Which, that's crazy, because that's like the most valuable thing he's got. That's access to money. But listen to me, man. What the fuck would I hurt that man for, man? Why? What What? What? What more would I do that for? I don't know. He'd come on to you? Hell no. We already got that instead. You got that part straight? We already got that part straight on the first uh, day we met. Did, did he get drunk one night and try something in the wrong He don't get drunk. He don't drink. He get doped up on his Adderall? No. He didn't try to His me. pills? No. He didn't do nothing to me. I didn't do nothing to him. And that's just what you're going with. Straight up. Didn't man, do I'm nothing. I'm telling you straight up to your eyes, man. I you, ain't, you can sit here and we can have a staring contest all day. I've been lying to you about people that have sat here and stared in my eyes. That don't mean nothing. What means something is the stuff that we're talking about. What means something to me is me being, you telling me I killed somebody, man. You telling me I killed somebody, man. And I ain't killed nobody. Did you kill him? Fuck no. Fuck no. 
So we ain't gonna find any evidence of that in your house. I ain't killed nobody. So we ain't gonna find any evidence of that in your house. What you mean? That's why I'm asking you. We gonna find evidence of him being killed in your house? How are you gonna do that? I would think that the first answer would be no. You will not find any evidence of him I being killed. Though no, you said how? How are you gonna do that? Yeah, yeah, no, That's no. a difference. No. Are we gonna find evidence of him getting killed in your house? Oh no. You sure on that? I'm positive, man. You put the rest of your life on I ain't did. I ain't. What you mean I put the rest of my life? I'm getting the rest of my life, man. Well, we're talking about a murder, man. I ain't man. did nothing, man. I ain't did nothing, man. You've done time before. You know what murder I, time is. Yeah, yeah. That's not giving that time. Yeah, that's rest of your lifetime. I ain't got time for that, man. I ain't did nothing. Unless to there's man. a reason. A reason for what? A reason for what happened to him. It ain't no reason. I ain't do nothing to him. We ain't got nothing. To, we ain't got nothing. We ain't never had no disagreement, man. That was my dude. Mr. Floyd, would you believe you? Yeah, I believe me. No, no, no. If you were me, would you believe you? What you, what you mean? If you were the, an investigator, if you were a juror, if you were somebody listening to this and having just a little bit of evidence that are shown your way and heard you say these things and then looked at the evidence, would you believe you? Would I believe that that you? Yeah, I ain't. Man, I ain't. That's my question. The, the thing, the thing. Yeah, the, if you were Mr. Floyd, you believe me. Hold on, man. The thing about the, the whole thing about it is. The, it's the man being across the street from my house, man. Oh, wait, wait. No, it's not. What is it? You seen using a dead man's debit card. You seen wearing a hat. A, a hat of a guy dropping his car off. It ended up in your trash with your documents. He's right. You're also seen wearing a dead guy's hat. You're also seen wearing his hat. His beanie cap. You said he took every bit of his possessions by his debit card, how did you end up with his hat? Let me show that to you. I'll be right back. I got it, Chris. You got that? Yeah, I got it. How do you, how do you, how do you explain that? That's another thing. That's like it. I said, that, 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 I, I didn't know that's it. That, I don't even got that hat no more. Oh, well, that's convenient. That's just that. from the other day. Why are you going to throw away a nice hat like that, Mr. Floyd? Why would you get rid of something like that? Oh, that's yeah. a nice beanie cap. How do you get rid of it? Because it wasn't in your trash. What you do to it? It must be in the house then. Must be? It might be. Might be. So if we don't find it, what happened to it? That's a nice beanie. It was cold the other night, man. We ain't talking weeks ago. Let me see the other picture of that guy. Which one? That's uh, dropping across. That's not you? No, he said this is him. Oh, he already said that's him. Right, yeah, we passed that. Got another picture of that guy with the drop of the car? Uh, yeah. I thought I did. I don't know what the crap I did with it. Yeah, there you go. I mean, we can print out pictures yeah. all day, but. What's that? There's little shoes on it, man. Oh. Guess what kind of shoes we find right now? That's not you. That's not me. That's not your shoes right now. Those aren't those white slides? Those aren't. Oh, those yeah. Same. You don't look the same. They conveniently have the same color shoes you got on. He's wearing white slides? This hat. End up in your house, in your trash can. Mr. You take the chore up. You say you take the trash up. You end up with a dead guy's debit card using the dead guy's hat at this store. Explain that, man. I can't. So what happened? I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened to him. And you certainly didn't care enough to call me. You care enough to reach out and try to be like, hey, he was at my house. I got his debit card. Maybe this will help you guys. I cared about him. I should have. You should have. We, we, we established that, but you didn't. I sat That's around a problem. My, I sat around my porch and watched you the whole morning, man. You sure did. The whole morning, you sat there. And then when you learned that that body across the street from your house was, was your good buddy. I should have called you. Yeah. You dang sure should have. And, and we got some issues here, I Mr. Floyd. Stop those, lying. Look at those clothes pants, man. Look at those shoes. He's walking towards your house. That's not me. This me. That's not me. You take your phone everywhere you go? Uh, no. When you leave your phone? What circumstances in 2020 do you leave your phone? Well, I do. Yeah, I take my phone everywhere. Yeah. You take your phone everywhere you go? Yeah. Okay. So let me get your phone record back. Hmm?
gonna get your phone record back. It's yeah. not gonna match your old father's car. Why would it do that? No, the, the right answer should probably heck no, it's not gonna do it. That's not me. But instead, why? You ask why. You ask how. But you don't say no. It wasn't me. No, I wasn't there. Why would it do that? I'm not. This is not me, man. Why? It won't. It won't. Your phone not gonna track with that guy. Shoes look the same, pants look the same, half found in your trash can walking towards your house. Here you are using his debit card, you got on his hat, pants look the same, shoes look the same. They are the same. That's you. That's not me. This is me. That's not me. This is me. That's not me. I spent cash, so I ain't spent this card, though. I ain't put nothing off this card. This is not me. You ever had his keys? I don't got his keys. You ever had them? You ever had his phone? No. Sure about that. No, sir. I ain't never had his phone. Never had his No. I never had his phone. Okay. Let, let's switch gears for a second. So, what do you do with bumpers? Dishwash. Your dishwasher? Yes. Okay. Alright. What do you do for the cleaning service? Oh, uh, temporary Israel. I do, I do janitorial. Janitorial. You go in at night, daytime, what? Night. Nighttime. You go in with a partner or just you? Me. Just you. Alright, what do you do? So I just clean. Okay. Explain. Be a little more specific. Help me out. I clean. Vacuum. Vacuum. Mop. Mop. Sweet. Do the bathroom. Sweet. You ever use cleaning chemicals? Yeah. Solutions? Yeah. You ever wear gloves? Yeah. No. The gloves look like this? Yeah. You use them a lot? Yeah. You keep some at your house? Yeah. What kind of chemicals did you use? What's the one to get everything out? Lysol. Good. Yeah. Lysol? Yeah. What is she? 4-9. 4-9. Yeah. You have it? You have to bring your own size? Or you no. Come to you? Yeah. Where you keep that stuff at? In the, um, in the, it's a, it's a storage room, though. It's a storage room. Do you ever bring it at home? No. You just bring trash bags home? I just bring trash bags. And t -shirt. Okay. Are they like the light trash bags? Like the little, they, they real good trash bags? Or they just like the cheap little... They like trash bags. I just keep them. The reason I bring them home because I have to keep them in my back pocket. Yeah, I mean, ain't nothing. I mean, whatever. That's just y'all, man. Yeah, I just have them in my back pocket. What about the gloves? How you get your gloves? They do. They're at school, too. Yeah, just bring a couple of them home, too, every now and then. No. Nah, I have them in my back pocket. I know. I ain't bringing them home. I don't care nothing about if you take stuff from your job or not. They ain't got nothing to do with me. No. I don't care nothing about that. I mean, you take some clean stuff home, that, it, it is. It is what it is. You gotta use it. Yeah. Um, but I don't take the cleaning stuff on. I just take it on some tissue or something like that. And that's it. I don't take no cleaning stuff. Be in a bad spot, man. For what? <laughs> you ain't been listening? But I ain't, but I ain't killed that man. Who did it? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Why would they want to do that? I don't know. And why would you be across the road from my house? And where I'm gonna put them at? I don't know. That's crazy. That don't make no sense. So he, every time he's been at your house, he's been alive. Yeah. He's never been harmed in your house. Nope. <laughs> he never tried to take you nowhere that you didn't know nothing about what was going on, put you in a bad position, nothing like that? No. Always been good to you. Always. Everybody you know he dealt with, he was good to you. Always. How you get around, man? Bus. If the buses ain't around. Yep. Right. Yep. If the buses you just lift every time. Yep. You don't know walk nowhere? Yep. Where you walk to normally? Uh shit. Sometimes I walk on this morning. From from down from down on the down temple. Church from there. You got to, you're gonna get on the feet and get it. Yeah. Okay. Um
if you didn't do this, you know, you know what I mean? But I, I gotta. You've seen all the pictures. You've seen all the stuff that they're throwing you away. You know what I'm saying? And everything is looking against you at this point. Would you Would you agree? I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm just. Would you agree? It, it, it didn't. It just <laughs> don't look. It's looking point towards you. All right. But look here, man. You got. You you saying you didn't use the car and all that other stuff. And that stuff doesn't play well when. You, I get where you're coming from, and these guys dead, they're saying you use a car, of course you won't say no. I didn't use it. But I need something to show that you're telling the truth about something, man. I, I need to get my phone. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. I need to get my phone. Like, then you can see everything I'm going to tell you, man. You see both sides, man. What, what's, what, what's wrong with me and your phone that I can use right now that I can go back and tell them, like, hey, this dude, I believe this man. Give me something, man. I don't got nothing to say. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. And then this hard thing, man, that ain't even no big deal. Exactly. If you need to use it, you need to use it. Y'all friends, I would understand that. He would, you, I would think he would be cool with it. Because I would think he's coming back. That's what I would think. But sitting in this situation, I can see you saying, no, nah, I ain't use the hard. Cause it's been dead at this point. I ain't know it was dead. Yeah, I know that. I'm saying you didn't know I, that during the time. Know, I ain't know it was dead. Man. So if I didn't know that, and I'm this is my friend called, I would use it too. Man. I mean, I, I'll pay you back. I ain't know it was dead, man. I don't know it depends on though. I mean, I really don't. I could have even credit though, but I I don't know it depends on. Go on, bro. Real talk, man. I do not know what happened to that man. Y'all always. We good. always good. We always good. All we never had a disagreement ever. I mean, what happened in the beginning, like at all? Y'all, I mean, I know you said y'all came to an agreement. He, he, came, he came to, he came to me with no Adderall. The man asked, he told me to give me fitted all to take my shirt off. Really? Yeah. And I can tell, man, you clearly, you know, you ain't with that. I ain't with that, man. And so y'all string that up off top. <laughs> He oh, told you to pay you fifty dollars, so he was he, he was just basically me. getting that money out like that. He told me to give me fifty dollars to see me with my shirt off. Really? Yeah. Just to see. Yeah. And y'all straighten that out. Yeah. Um. At what point? How far y'all was into knowing each other by the time by the time he had that? The first day. The first day. The first day. When he was sitting on my sofa, then he left. He was there by um. I had called a couple rounds that I know. They yeah, said anybody do something, but don't nobody do them shit. Them black folk don't do that shit. Yeah, I know, man. So nobody do no pills, man. Nobody do no pills. So you know. At what point y'all come? You know, got back together. Uh, y'all connected back. The next month after that, when he got some more, and he came back to you again. Yeah. Still trying to. Yeah. But he ain't come out of the house. He came home. We just were talking. Yeah. Um. But he asked you that. Was he like drunk? Uh -huh. drunk. He don't drink. Right. I mean, was he on? Was he on the pills at that point? I, I don't know. I don't know. I never know when he on the pills, man. He still act straight, normal or something. something. We, we, he, he go to Texas and crazy. He don't, like, he don't act like that in front of me. He, he'll tell me, he said, I'm sorry, man, I'm bugging, I'm on the Addis. You know? <laughs> what you mean, Texas crazy? He go to San send the dumb ass pictures and shit. Like, what you mean? I mean, tell me what you mean. You know, like, I, I will tell you. Like, what? Sending pictures and like, man, listen, man, can you can you send me a, a shirt, a pink with your, I give you cash at you $20. I said, man, I be already kind of that agreement, man. I'm sorry, man, I'm bugging, man, on the Addis, spinning horn. <laughs> I so said, man, want to throw some butt out, so what? Bro, that what he, see something? That's what he do. Yeah. That's what he do, man. So. That's what he do, man. So he just want to see something. He'll just throw somebody out. That's what he do. 
how much, how, how often would he live in his car? Even in the car, there are a lot of people, man. So, when you say y'all got that trait, so he'll get on the pills, start texting and crazy. Right. He'll send you some pictures or anything? So, yeah, he sent me some pictures. That for himself? And yeah, with, with the clothes on, though. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. What he'll say when he sends the pictures? He just, I don't know. He just be in a happy mood. He just send a picture? Yeah. That man sent me all kind of shit, man. That man sent me the goddamn when he get paid and all that shit. And I be like, man, why you sending me this shit? You know? So you was like, he's he excited about the money. Yeah. Did, like, he have any, did he have any money at all? Or? I know he got a paycheck. That's it. He was living check to check. Was he in school or anything? Or? Nah, he wasn't in school. He was just um, working at a damn, I think it was a place where he'd get a grant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was working up off John and office. I don't know where that at. Mm -hmm. Where at John and office? Uh, if you go, you know where the, um, the big pool at? Yeah, right across the street. By the mall? Mm -hmm. yeah. What he did there? Uh, like I said, I think he did the grants. So, How long have you been working now? I don't know. Since you met him? Yeah, he was working there since I was up there. So he was the dude. Will he pay people to have sex with him now? I don't know. See, that, see that, ain't, that wasn't never my business. Yeah. Cause I, don't, I mean, I just say, I'm just, I'm just wondering, because you say he talked to him all the time, so I don't know what he. I'm just trying to draw your memory about what could have been in the messages. Cause I don't have your phone. I, you know, I've been here the whole time. Man. I ain't never see you. Uh, hey. So tell you, I know he said a couple people had took a car hostage with him, and so I'm getting on my and it was sitting the pussy and shit. And yeah, and he ain't like that. And um, he'll bring it out to um, like I said the dude that he was on doing the detail. Yeah. Um, his brother, his brother kidnapped his car. Um, so his brother kidnapped his car? Yeah, his brother do have his brother get his car and all that. Where he'll be at when his, when his brother got the car? I'm um, riding right, so though. Okay. So. Um, the dude at the car wash, uh, he kept his stuff in his car? Yeah. <laughs> Went on. See, I ain't know nobody that before. I ain't know nobody that before he went on. He talking about calling the police on for harassment. Who? The dude that was on. They had stuff in the back. And who I was on call the police on who? It's when it was. And call the police on the dude? Yeah, you know, for harassment. Talking about harassment. But that was like a month ago, right? Yeah. And he ain't dealt with him since? No. He had to thank me for that. He still he used to always thank me about that. He talking about I'm going to head to protection. I always. I always used to make sure that nobody ain't put down on that man. I try to take advantage of him, man, because, you know, you're a man, you're a good dude, man. But you just not, you just not, you just not, um, you're a good-hearted dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you might defend yourself, but, man, you good let people take advantage of you. And I, I used to school him on that shit, man. You learn how to just tell people no and be into that shit, you know? Yeah, and he was teaching me how to be humble like him. Yeah. So y'all were giving each other a little bit of something. Yes, sir. It is different, man. For real talk, man, I ain't never had no wife, man, in my life, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was like. We all people, man. I was like, I was like, yeah, we all don't. So I was like, man, damn, man. We good people out here, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So we I, all people, I, I kept, I, I kept them, you know what I'm saying, kind of close to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I ain't give a fuck if I... Nobody saying nothing about a white boy or none of that, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. he's still a good person, you know? He look out for me, I look out for him. Right. So tell me this, man, you gotta give me something. Something that's true for me, so I can get these guys. So they like, hey, like the hard thing, man. Did you use his heart? Just be honest with me. That's, a, that's something small, man. That's something we can get past. We talking about a hard thing, rather you kill somebody. 
Yeah. Be honest with me, man. All right, man. See, I don't want to make myself look bad, man. Like. How you? How? What's worse? We knowing it. This is what I'm saying. 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 I'm I bought some Pringles. I bought a Powerade. Now, this is going to be your test right here. Where did you buy it from? Family Dollar. Family Dollar. The one right straight up street from your house? Yes, sir. So how'd you get it? Um, I walked. Okay. No. Okay. So that's what I'm saying, man. That's something small. We knew that. We got the receipt. No, I bought that. We got the camera. The camera show all that together. That's how we got to where, that's what I'm saying. We're not telling you stuff we don't know, man. Yeah, I walked in. Okay. Mm. Would you buy yourself? I'll buy myself. Yeah. So after that, where else did you use the card? Nowhere else. Nowhere else. No, sir. That was the only time. The only time. Mm. What made you use it that day? Because I ain't had no okay. care. I would get money to this day though. From where? For my chick. Okay. And what day was that used for? Uh, Thursday. Right. Either Wednesday night or Thursday. It was the same night or the next night. Because I ain't here from him, man. All that damn what the fuck. But you know what, that man was dead right, man. If I seen when I when I know what that was going around, I man, I should have just called that man, man. And said, hey man, listen man, that's my friend, man. Why didn't you call? I ain't, man, uh, I just ain't wanna be in the middle of it. How you been feeling, man? How you been feeling? Yeah. I've been all right. Since you found out? Since I found out you were dead? Yeah. Shit crazy, man. Talk to me. That shit crazy. What you mean? Man, I don't deserve no shit like that, man. For real. That ain't right. This ain't right, man. What do you think could have went wrong? Either two things. What's that? Either you try to stay on pier to somebody, and they took a bunch of them, or... They even tried to sell pills, and they took a bunch of them, or what else? Oh, he tried somebody, or... Oh, yeah, it wasn't more sexual, or something, or... Somebody tried to rob him, or something. I don't know. You know how real drug people sometimes, man. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up right now, I know how it is. Well, I don't know. What, um... I don't, I don't know. Was he the I don't know. I don't know for sure if he was... Where he went, or... Where he was home around people, you know Huh? Will he be around people he don't know? Will he be around people he don't know? Yeah. I mean, he's an open-minded dude. What you mean? Open spirit. He, he, he ain't around anybody. And that, see, he's the type of dude that go get, get your energy. Yeah. That's, that's, how, that's how he is, man. He goes off people's energy. And whatever they give him to him? Mm-hmm. You think he would have pushed himself on somebody? And that would have closed it. I don't think he'll do that to somebody you don't know. He might do that to a prostitute, a male prostitute, but I don't think he'll do that to somebody you don't know. Was he into that type of thing? He might open with me about that. Open to me about his sexuality because he know I ain't, I'm not on that. I don't, I don't, I don't get into that. So it's either one of them. You think it's either the pills? He was with somebody he don't know? 
That was it? Yeah. Probably. I don't I don't wanna assume, man. I'm trying to figure out what direction to go, man. Yeah. Or it was you think he would try to push himself on somebody he knew? If he knew him pretty good. If he knew him pretty good, then that would be different. It. Yeah. If he knew they got down like that. I didn't I didn't ever meet none of his um I didn't ever meet nobody he associated with, period. He ain't never had no boyfriend, no I didn't, nobody he was into? I, I don't know. I I know he talked to his um co workers a lot. Female? Yeah. He'll come around my house and um you know, he'll be like, Man, yo man, I take your word if you let me um do a couple of hours of school work. You know, uh, let me. What do you mean, cover out school work? Because he was in school. He was in school? Yeah. You just told me he wasn't in school. I did. Yeah. No, he had got enrolled. He was enrolled in school. Yeah, he was in school. So online, online, online. So school. he was in online school. Online school, yeah. But you remember you told me he wasn't in school, right? No, I didn't. Remember when you, I was asking you about where he worked at and how he get his money from? And I said, was he in school? You said no. I did say that. Well, he was in school, bro. He was in what school. What school he was at? He was, I don't know what school it was, but I know it was online. He did his record trial? Some, uh, sometime. When he wanted to be, when he wanted some peace. Uh, he had to use um, his computer. Shoes you walk up here, man. Huh? Let me tell you something. <clears throat> That's gonna go a long way with you being honest, man. What you tell you think of who you got in your trash can? Man, I was no no man. You ain't never seen it before. No, I, I don't even got no yellow rain jacket, man. I don't got no hooded, period. No raincoats or nothing. I ain't got no jacket with a hood on it. That's another honest thing, man. I gotta ask you. Yes, sir. Now, I need you to be honest with me, man. Yes, sir. Like I'm trying to. I don't want you to get railroaded or nothing like that. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If it was a reason things happened or something happened that wouldn't. Somebody, you know, if it was anything that happened. All right. I want you to be honest with me, man. Because okay. that line by simple stuff can make big trouble. I understand. You get that? Yes, sir. How did you end up with this hat, man? With that? The little beanie hat. Come on, man. Don't, don't search for no lot for me, man. I ain't searching for no lot for me, man. That's a, that's a simple question, man. Because if I ask you where you get your shoes from, you're going to tell me. If I ask you, just like I said, hey, where you get your Newports from, you're going to tell me. You just told me, man. Just tell me. Yeah. How'd you end up with this hat? That's good I had. When was this? It was on Wednesday morning. But that's not going to happen, man. Because I don't got no, you know, I got a fade, man. I got a fade. So why you say that? Listen, 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 listen. Why you didn't say that earlier? See the problem you have with it? Yeah, so we went to the store. We went to the store. Um, to the store that morning. Mm -hmm. He had that hood on. I said, man, I like the hood, man. He said, yeah. That was it. Yeah. That was it. He said, I'm happy. But when I asked you about it earlier, you said you didn't know, man. How come all of a sudden now you know? You see the problem with that, man? That's why I say little lies make big problems. Yes, sir. Because now you're making a big problem. Yes, sir. Because you told a little lie earlier, right? Yes, sir. But that's why you uh, let's clear up a lot of stuff, man. Huh? Let's clear up a lot of stuff now. Let's do it. What happened? I don't know what happened to that, man. I honestly don't know what happened to that, man, sir. I honestly don't know, man. The last time I seen that, man. 
The man was leaving out my house talking to his co-worker, man. On the phone with his co-worker, sir. He never made it work. No. I don't know where he made it. Never contacted you ever again. I ain't talked to him no more. When I'm outside, no guy in the car, though. I was sleeping on my soul. You ain't trying to find out? I'm trying to find out what happened to him. I don't know what, no. The only thing I can do is, the only thing I can do is message him. The only thing I can do is message him. I asked him why, you, you know, I'm telling you, I'm just talking to him, man. I asked him, like, what's up? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if he'll text me. It's obvious you care about it, man, because y'all good friends. Y'all look out for each other. You put your life on the line for them. Right. Twice. Yeah. Twice. I can see that, man. Twice. what happened. Well, I don't know. I honestly don't know what happened to that man, sir. Oh, you guys need to eat or drink? Yeah, I know I got the, the water for you, but I want a cigarette. I'll get a cigarette. Yeah, we can make that happen. Um, just give us a couple minutes. Um, Mr. Floyd, I, I can appreciate you talking to um, Investigator Bridges, Curtis over here, and being straight with the credit card, because that made me think you were a liar. And reasons suggest if you're going to lie about something small like using a man's credit card, you lying all the way up to the murder. But you're being straight about it. And I can appreciate it, and I can understand why, because you know how it look. It looked bad, man. It looked bad. But I ain't know that man was dead, so... So, but I always say, I say thank you. I appreciate you being honest with us because during the loss, you know, I can fix anything. Well, maybe he's being straight about something. You know what I mean? Because we we gotta we gotta solve this thing. Um. So, help me again understand the beginning of your relationship uh, with Spooner. You just called him Spooner, right? I call him Spooner. Spooner. Spooning. Oh, Spooning. I call him Spooning. Spooning. Okay, so. Um, I know you said you guys met on Facebook. Yes, sir. Okay. And you said he came over and wanted to sell some pills. Yes, sir. You said you weren't down with that, and then eventually you got that. So if you're there, then you, your relationship, it, you know, friendship, it evolves. He's giving you rides. Eventually, let's use his car. Talk to me about that evolved piece, that piece before, the piece between. He comes over that one night, wants your help with some, excuse me, selling some pills, and then after that. At some point, you guys start to you know get rides and becoming friends. How does that evolve? Is that over Facebook Messenger? You guys hang out a little bit? No, we don't ever hang out. That's over Messenger. Okay. Do you guys have anything in common? Are you guys talking sports? Y'all talking? You know anything in common that y'all talk about? It was a good energy. Says what? Good energy between the. You guys had a good energy. Yes, sir. Okay. You're someone you could trust. Yes, sir. Someone that you know gave you that good vibe, decent human being. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, as you guys are talking in that interim between him coming over that first time and your relationship getting to the point where um, he's helping you out, you're you know he's trusting you, he's sleeping at your house, you're trusting him, he's giving you his car, vice versa, back and forth. Yes, uh, what are you guys talking about? We talk about like religion. Okay. Let's talk about that. What 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 was his faith? What did he believe? In Jesus Christ. Like what? Okay. So you guys were both Christians. You guys yes, both believe in yes, Jesus. Okay. All right. Um, what specifically? You guys go to the same church ever? Or yeah. Say more about that for me. Um, you know, you are very... Like I told sir, I no disrespect to you, sir. Sure. I just ain't never, I ain't never had a white friend before in my life. Okay. I, I don't and, and take that, that any kind of way. And that's, I just don't want to disrespect you. Um, and he was teaching me how to be so humble, you know, and, and just open up and just get out the box. It's, it's a lot of life out here, mm -hmm. you know. And I was listening, man. I was really, really, really feeling that. Was well, it sounds like he, 
he was maybe preaching a little bit, is that you were getting some message from him. Yeah, and at the same time, I was giving it the same back to him, you know. And you guys were both building each other's lives to benefit build, yeah, each each other. trying to build each other up. Uh, how, but, how did he benefit you? How did he benefit me? Mm -hmm. uh, what did he teach you? What did he teach me? Smile. Smile. It's a good thing. Smile. Pick your head up. Don't let nothing ever get you down. Life ain't too hard where you just can't know you need to pray and just tell God help. Yeah. He's a positive person. Very. Very. What did you teach him? Put your foot down. Stop you letting people use you. It's all right to say no. He work for your money. He work for this car. It's yours. Right. They can do their own. That's big. That sound like like maybe you helped. You helped. Um, did you guys ever like go to a church together or talk about Bible study or say each other scripture or anything like that? No, we just we just we just talk. More the heart of what that stuff means. Right. Okay. So. It sounds like you were helping him put his foot down, but why would then would you you take like the twenty dollars and, and stuff from him? Okay. You said he gave you twenty bucks the other day, yeah, but it's his money. He yeah. earned it. He was trying to make it make sense. He'll make me. He'll yeah, make me. Man, you do so much for me. You let me stand the eyes. You let me use the shower. Sure. But he gave me rides. Did and y'all talking about that the preaching stuff? And everybody's different. I got no judgment. Um, Either which way, but I know you said at the beginning of your relationship, y'all worked out that, uh, you know, he liked guys, he was homosexual. Yes, sir. You were not. I'm not. Okay, explain to me how that happened. Uh, the first day. The day he came over with the pill? Yes, sir. The first day he told me to give me $50 to take my shirt off. Did you take the $50? Hell yeah, no. Okay. And like I said, there's no I, judgment, I, I, man. I said, man, listen, man, I don't do that. I okay. said, man, you got to go somewhere for that. All right, so $50, you know, take your shirt off. $50, take my shirt off. Okay. Did he offer anything else? Oh, uh, no. That was, it. that was it? Or did he ever say, you know, that you know maybe he'd like to get a little bit closer to you, have more like a physical relationship? No, did that no, ever come no, up? No. So you didn't specifically ever say, I'm not gay, I know you're gay. You guys didn't have that kind of conversation. I told him that. I said, man, I don't entertain that, man. I'm a man. I like women. Okay. You know, you see, man, I respect it. And did he, like, ever hit on you again in the future as y'all's relationship evolved? Or he, would, he... he would get on at it and he would say, like, some gay shit. Like, like what? Give me an example. Help me understand. Uh, say to you, he might say to someone else. So. I don't know. I really can't word it, man. Cause it, it's, it's okay. Like, I'm it's not going to judge you. It's all in my phone. See, I, this, that's why I want to show you. So you, sure. you have a better but, understanding. But, but, even if it's I not can, 100%, just summarize it. Uh, he'll go to Bug and I, he'll be like, um, shit, I don't know what to say, man. Um, yeah, do you throw it out there? There's no words you can't say. No, nah, he, he ain't say nothing gay like that. He'll be like, he'll be like, get to that point, though. Okay, well, just explain that to me because I, I, I don't understand he'd be and like, I want man, to. Man, he was like, I'm on the edges and I'm high on warning. Okay. And um, was that like a booty call to you or is that something, is that how you took it or what, what do you think that he was doing that for? Like, how would you respond? Yeah, that he was just talking like that, but I'd be like, man, man, chill, man. Yeah. He was like, yeah, man, I'm sorry, bro, bro. Okay. My fault, just the addicts. It's just the addicts. That shit got me geeked. That means the Adderall. Yeah, the Adderall. Okay. That, that got on warning. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. And then he come on to you a little bit. Now you'll be like, man, yeah, you, I mean, you can say, yeah, man. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You, you tell me. You might, you might just say that, yeah. Is that how you took it? Like, you know, you had to back off a little bit? I don't, I didn't take it in no kind of way, sir. Because I, I already know where it was going nowhere. Right. So I, yeah. I didn't You had that boundary. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. You ain't going nowhere what, this. What did he do to push you, like, come the closest to that boundary? Like, was it just a text message or, you know, at the house, you ever walk in on you in the shower? I don't know. Like, what, what did he do to try to approach that? Approach me in a sexual way. Yeah, he never did. So, did he ever do the addies at your house? Not in front of me. When you, you say not in front of you. Does that mean he didn't do it at your house, or does that mean he could have and you didn't know? He could have and I didn't know, but he never did it in front of me. I know he had him in the glove box a lot. Yeah, in the glove box. Yes, sir. Of his. Of his car. 
Okay. Yeah, glove box of his car. That's where he kept them? Yes, sir. Did you ever see him bring them inside your house? Yeah, he had, he had me hold 15 on for him at one time. What, should, what do you mean by hold? I mean, hold means a lot of different things. Just to hold them. Just to, to, hold to them. save or to save, sell? Yes, to save for them. Okay. So he went and sell all of them. And for his, so that was his stash? Yes, sir. Now, did he give them to you or did you just keep them at your house? Yeah, to me. Where did you keep them? I kept them right there on my I'm mean, right there um in my front room. It's a, it's a, um in my front room. It's a, it's a shelf. I put them okay. right there on that shelf. They still there? Nope. That was a long time ago. That was like, that was, that was like, like that was like uh December first around that era. December first. Yeah, right when he first got his last one. When he got his last one. Okay. Um, that, did it ever frustrate you? Make you upset when you would you know, would kind of. Come at you in those messages when he was getting horny, or no? I just tell him to chill, man. Did he pretty much respect that? Yes, sir. He did. Yes, sir. Every time. Every time. Every time. Okay. Did you guys ever have any arguments, any issues? Be honest. One argument we had was the only one. All right, tell me about it, please. Okay, he had stayed at my house. He had asked could he sleep in my room. Um, I asked for friends. Over. He came out. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. We was in there smoking weed, you know. So practically illegal. Hey, man. So um, he came out. I guess they were making too much noise. He was like, man, what what's going on here, man? You went into your room? Hey, I'm in my living room. Your living room, okay. Yeah. He was like, man, what's going on here, man? I'm like, man, what you mean, what's going on here, man? Anything going in my house, man? This is my house, you know. I don't answer to you. Fair point. You like you. He's nah, rubbing you the wrong way for like, waking him up, but he, he, he it's your like, generosity. I mean, look, man, he was like, I'm lying to him. I said, I'm lying to you about what? And he just went, he, went, he was on the attic, though. Mm -hmm. So he was in the heat. He, 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 that's, hey, that's one thing he would do. He would get, get on the attic and get inside. Mm -hmm. And he would start freaking out, man. Was he freaking out? Yeah. What was he thinking? Was he When he called you a liar, what was he thinking? I don't know. Was you thinking maybe you were getting with them other guys and he couldn't be a part? Or right. I, I believe that. I believe he was starting to get emotionally attacked. Yeah. Okay. I so think, he, he was I starting think. to, that was moving yeah. beyond y'all's friendship to more of, he wanted to be romantic with you. I, he, no, um, I don't think it was that. In his, in his eyes. I, not, not, not maybe. For, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like not for you. Maybe. maybe. Yes, but I think he was trying, I think he was starting to get jealous because I had a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people like come over to me, right to my house, and like a lot of times he would like want to come to my house. He want to be all the friends. I think so. I think a lot of times, cause a lot of times, a lot of people used to come around my house. And I have company, like anybody do. Sure. And then he want to come around, but when you see all the car, he keep going. So, and then he, Why wouldn't he come around? I don't know. Was was he kind of jealous? Yeah. He was a jealous kind of guy. I think he was kind of jealous. Eh? You said he, he, well, he asked to sleep in your room. What happened with that? Huh? You said he asked to sleep in your room with you? No, not in the room with me, in the room on, on, on the other side. He never asked to sleep in the room with me. I thought that's where he was already sleeping. That's what, I'm, I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, in the red room. In the, yeah. room, so, in the room with the carpet. That's where he sleep with, with the little bump with my own. You said y'all had an argument about him trying to sleep in the room with you? No, we had an argument about him. He was sleeping in the room. Oh, and I had company in my living room. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I you now. So we was in there smoking weed. We was in there smoking weed. And I guess it was a little too loud. Yeah. And he came out. He was like, "Man, what's going on? Like, like this your house?" So in the mean, in his mind, he already been pretty much more people there. I don't know. I know he got like yeah. agitated because you know my own girl. She was, she was loud. She was laughing and all that. But she didn't know he was back there. Did, over time in y'all relationship, did you notice him start to get clingy to you at all? Clingy? Yeah. Uh, like, I want to be around, like, I want to talk to you more. Yeah, you know, yeah, stuff. He yeah. started trying to get closer than you, than you was to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As if, like I, I, like I can say, like, when he started texting you more than he was texting him. Right. And, like, trying to be around and asking him to stay more. Right. So he probably was getting closer to you and then you were just trying to keep it where yeah, I was at. I was just trying to keep it like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Man, he was trying to get, right? Like, like he said I was his best friend, man. Yeah. He said, man, he, um, he's like, man, 
on to that's when my phone hit. He was like, man, I'm tired of all these motherfuckers around here. You the only male friend around here. I don't fuck with everybody. Just want to use me, take yeah. my car and do that. But you always be there. You always be all right with me. You always be fair. You always be loyal. You always. He said, man, I ain't never been nobody like you. And, and, and I just felt like, you know. How was that last conversation with him, man? Sir? How was that last conversation with him? That last conversation I had with him. Um, he came out of the bedroom. He was, Lord, hallelujah. Ooh, my, I got yeah. my check. You know, it's, it was like six o'clock in the morning. I was down on my sofa. Because um, it was cold. I don't have central air heat. Yeah. So I got a space, I got a space heater and I got a heat on my wall. Because mm. um, the, the, the heat, the heat won't work. It, it won't reach back to my room. Yeah. So I stepped right up. He you know, came in up. He said, um, so you was on the couch? Yes, sir. Okay. He came and uh, he said, man, get up, man. Let's go get us some breakfast. I said, man, take your ass to sleep. You know, he was like early in the morning. I said, man, Did he wake you up? Yeah, he woke me up. Right. So you were already asleep? He woke me up with that hollering. So, um, he when y'all had left, when you, when you last time you had talked to him before you went to sleep, where was, where was he? Walking out my door. Hmm? Walking out my door. We had went to, um, like I said, we went to Surf K. No, 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 no. Before his check came, and when he woke up waking you up, when you went to sleep that night. The night before. The night before. He was in the room watching Netflix. So he was already at the house in the room. Yeah, he was in my back room. Who was You on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, I was in the room. He was back there watching Netflix. He get up. He say, Glory Hollywood, y'all got paid. Yeah. I remember Spencer. That was, that, that was one of his number one biggest things, man. Getting paid? Getting paid. Being generous. Getting, getting paid, getting his check, period. That's, that was his biggest thing, man. Because um, he'll, uh, he'll borrow. He'll borrow like all through. He'll blow his money fast, man. Yeah. So, he'll, yeah, he'll, look. He'll, he'll, I want you to get up and go to the store. Huh? He wants you to get up, wake up out your sleep, and go to the store. Yeah. So he can buy me some cigarettes. He can buy me some damn um, McDonald's hotcakes. How, how he wake you up? How he wake me up? Mm -hmm. With his goddamn hollering. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord. What about that shit? You're screaming? Yeah, he was like that. Make man. Some he, noise. Listen, man, when I tell you, man, he was real energetic. Yeah. People's person, man, he was just. Just things <laughs> like that. that. That's that's how he was, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Positive. You know, full of energy. You know. So yeah. So y'all go to the store. Yes, sir. And then y'all went to McDonald's first. No, no we went to uh, Surf K first. Surf K first. Yes, sir. Then McDonald's. Yes, sir. Then Capital City. Yes, sir. And then back home. Yes, sir. Capital City was on Adam. Yes, sir. Went to Cap City on Adams. Back to your house. Yes, sir. Um, so y'all get back to your house about seven? About, it was 6.45. Um, it wasn't almost, it was close to seven. Around 6.45, right? Because it wasn't that far. We got up. He woke me up and we left about 6.15. Went mad and stuff. Y'all come back home. Yes, sir. He, what do you do when you get back home? When I get back home, yeah. I eat um, pancakes, smoke milk, a couple of new poles. I go back, I lay back down. Where right, so you lay down at? I'm back on the sofa. Back on the sofa. Yes, sir. And then he go and take a shower? Yes, sir. Get ready for work. Get ready for work. He put his uniform on? He didn't have a uniform. What he had to wear? Yeah, the, the clothes I gave him. Which I don't remember. What, what kind of clothes you had? Uh, I gave him my uh, arm. Well, I had been gave it to him, but he had just kept wearing the same thing. He yeah. had no other clothes at all? Uh, he didn't, I guess he didn't want to work. I don't know. I gave him something that looked more professional. He you know went what I mean? to work every day? Yeah, he went to work every day. No, I'm saying he wore the same thing to work every day? Like three times a week. But what? 
a green, I gave him a green shirt, check shirt with a sweater, with a green sweater. And you wear it every day? Yeah. No matter what. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> quick, by, at least three times a day. And you come wash your clothes or what about your house? I don't have a washing machine. I mean, the laundry mat, I'm sorry. Uh, well, like I said, um, earlier that week, he had rented an apartment. Remember I told you that? Yeah. So, when he was staying in, he, he had washed all his clothes up. And he told me I was working to wash my clothes up too. So, uh, I mean, how much clothes are we talking? He had. Um, I don't know. I know he had something in the trunk. So he had clothes in the trunk. But he wore the same thing. But he wore the same day. damn thing. The damn work. Clothes you get. You, you That's get. what he wanted to wear. And I gave him a, um, I gave him a, um, a blue button, a, a um, knit, you know, collar shirt, like, like you got on, mm -hmm. light blue. I gave him one of those. A dress shirt? Yeah, dress shirt. And, um, but, he but, did. I, but I ain't giving him no more pants because he couldn't feel it. But he did have some of his own clothes in his car? That's yes, what you're saying? yes, sir. But even though he had those, he kept wearing the clothes you gave him? Yes, sir. So he put all that stuff back on when he put his clothes back Put his clothes back on. What he wore to the store? Now that I don't remember. You don't remember what he had on no, the store? But it wasn't his shirt on her clothes. He wanted to work clothes. So he put on his work clothes. Mm -hmm. So he was going to get a haircut. Where he get his haircut at? He, he said he wanted to. He wanted but, to. but I know for a fact that he would say he was going to Walmart for him and he was going to get his little brother. Where's the brother at? His little brother used to be at. Well, I seen him one time. When we went, it was at Surf King no more. And we picked him up and took him to um, Fleet. He worked for the city. Okay. What's his little brother's name? Don't give me the line on that, sir. Okay. So he said he was going to get his little brother. Yeah, pick his little brother up and let him use the car. He said he promised him that. So the brother wasn't even expecting him to come. Yeah. That means he would have contacted his brother. Right. I don't know where to get him. Let him know he's going away. Right. He would also, his brother would have known to be ready when he got there because he had to work to work. Right. Like I said, when he was walking out the door, he was talking to another woman about asking her if she need a ride too because he said he had time. No, what time he left you out? It was around 7 15. So his brother probably. Should have reported him missing or said something about him being and robbed him, right? Right. Because he was inspecting, right? Yes, sir. Why do you think his brother never said that? I don't know. Why did he tell you he was headed to his brother? Huh? Why did he tell you he was headed to his brother? Because he said, um, I think he thought I wanted to use a car that day, but I said I didn't. He said he had already promised his brother. That is what he told you. That is what he told me. He said, oh, I said, man, I don't need to call it there. I'm not going nowhere. I ain't going Because I had a hangover. Man. Did you ask him what's going on? No, sir. Why would he assume you only had his car two times before? That was a month ago. Why would he assume? He that? always offered me that car. But he wasn't offering today. He always offered it to me. But I don't, I don't, I don't. So why would he assume if you never, he, you only had the car two times about a month ago? Two, two times, time. yeah. And he's not necessarily offering it to you. He's saying that his brother is about to get the car. Yeah. So why would he tell you that if you never asked for the car? He just told. That don't make sense to me, man. That's, that's not about this, man. That's what he told me. to that territory here, man. No, man, that's, that's what he told me, man. He said, man, I'm finna go pick my brother up. He, I told him you can use my car today. And I'm going, he said, I'm going to Walmart and pick my brother up. I told him I can use my car today, man. God, I'm true. You be straight with me. Yes, sir. God, that's true. Was he supposed to pick you up from work? When? That day. No, I ain't work that day. What did you do the rest of that day? What I did? Yeah. I went to... How we talking about? I went to preschool. I went to the preschool, like, five. 
Yeah. When I, yeah, when I got back at like eight. What did you do Thursday? Huh? What did you do Thursday? Cause that's Wednesday. Thursday. I did, did I, I did the same thing. Time to get up. That morning? Yeah. Afternoon, morning, afternoon. I usually sleep in, man, because I ain't got no day job. Okay, so what, what you do that morning? You sleep? Yeah. I don't got no day job. Like, I usually sleep in. Did you work Thursday at all? Yeah. What did you work? I worked at preschool. Did you preschool at the same time? Mm-hmm. And it's like about 5 o'clock? Yes, about what time? So about 8. And then you come along? Yes, sir. About 3 hours? Yes, sir. It takes about three hours to clean. What you how how you how you get down back? On the bus. During the daytime I catch the bus. It's cheaper than a go. So we're gonna be able to find it on the bus camera? You should. Sure. You should. Where the bus you use? Sometimes I UV, sometimes I UG. What well, no, we're talking about specific days though. I but see that. I'm trying to help you out, man. I understand that, baby, but you, you, but you, I can't remember. What, what, um, them days? Like, what, what, does B and G run the same routes? No. So, all right, again, so what? No. So B and G don't run the same No, route. but they go to the terminal. All right, so they go to the terminal. Which one take you to the terminal? Go for them. From your house? Yeah. So you both in the C1, C1 right there, C1 is at by the stove. So you just, all right, we'll, one, one we'll, 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 okay. we'll just keep it simple. You ride either one of those. Yeah. And you should be on either one of those somewhere close to those times. Yeah. And on the terminal camera, too. And right? on the terminal camera, right? Yeah, I go straight to the A when I get out the door. go straight to the A bus. The A and me here. Check it out. So Thursday, Wednesday you work for preschool. Yes, sir. Thursday you work preschool. Yes, sir. Both same time. Yes, sir. On Wednesday, if you went at work, what were you? I went to my home. You were home all day? Yeah. Didn't go nowhere? Um, I got my home. Yeah, I got my cut Thursday. Where did you chop at? Um, Diggy Bob Shop. Throw that out. First time. The one about Tarbo? Yeah. No, the one by Gillum. By Gillum? Yeah, Gillum by right across the street from Papa. The t- Your first time? Yeah, we're talking about that. Yeah, they're right by Starbucks and all that. No, Starbucks down the road. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, further up, yeah. off the little, by the city place. Right. I get you. So Thursday, you get your put up there. Yeah. Right all the time. Okay. How you get there? Mother brother. Yeah, brother take it. Yeah. Okay. So you get your haircut Thursday, and when you get your haircut, where you go after that? Um, I'll go back home. All right, so you back home all day? And yep. All night? Yep. So now it's Friday morning. Friday morning. I sleep in. Friday afternoon. Um, until you get up until you, what time, where do you go Friday? On Friday I go, um, my homeboy pick me up, take me get my check. I go take to get the check. Yeah. We drive a little bit. From your house? Yeah, he get, get from my house. Around what time? It had to be around seven-ish. I go up at night? Yeah, I go up there. You gave me a check at 7 o'clock? Um, bumpers. So you go up to bumpers to get your check? Yeah. And this is Friday? This is Friday night. All right. What do you do Friday? What, after 7, you get your check. Where do you go? I go back home. So Friday? I get me, I get me a fifth for long. I don't want to sit down. Where you cash your check at? Uh, I, I got Bank of America. So, so you can just put your check in on ATM. So you cash your check at ATM at Bank of America? Yeah. Which one? Tunnel Road. Okay. 
So you got a twelve year old, cash yeah. check, get your fifth in Amsterdam. Yes, sir. From the market lead, market square, the new top. Yes, sir. From market, you know the market square over the um, um, the marketplace. Yeah, off top zero, off top zero. Cause that's my job. Okay, that though. Okay. How you get your fifth in Amsterdam? Where you go? Go home. Straight to the house. Yes, sir. You ain't stopping nowhere. You ain't stopping nowhere. No, no. I start to um uh, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yep. All the way home. Okay. Stop at Taco Bell. Which one you stop at? Southside. Southside Taco Bell, right street from your house. Yep. You need to steal your home boy? Yep. Y'all go through the inside or drive through? I go inside. You go inside. Yep. Get to Taco Bell. Yep. You get out of there. Get out of there. You go to the house. I go to the house. You'll be home for it. Huh? Your homeboy going to the house with you? No. Well, yeah, y'all sit outside and drink? No, nah, he don't. I pull. So he just drop you off? I pull no son, he drop. Drop you off under you? Yeah. Oh. Um. So it's Saturday come, Saturday morning. Right. What happened? Oh, shit. So you got, it's so a Friday night, drinking. So Friday night, listen, Friday night, I was drinking, and I passed out. I forgot. I'm supposed to do the church. Friday night. Yeah, but I forgot. I passed out because I don't got drunk. So I wake up like three o'clock in the morning and call me a little and go do the church. Got to come back about seven. To come back at seven. About seven ish, and then I go back to sleep. Then go back to sleep. That's right. Time wake up. Mm, when I see you on my side, the police. How you know that side? I do it out of one. That's what you had just woke up. I do it out of saw my side. What was that? They was putting down black paint around my body. Putting on the shield up. I get up. I go outside. I go to my granddad's house. You go to your granddad's house? Uh, across the street. I mean, next door. Make sure the hell's all right. Mm -hmm. you know. And then from there, I just sat on the porch and watched them do their best kids. So you never, so you came, you went, so on Saturday night, what you do? Saturday night, I went to work. That yeah, was that? That month? You went to work at the pump? Yes, sir. Saturday night and Sunday night. Okay. Which day you went to the um, family dog? Was that Thursday? That no, was Thursday night. And you walked a bit and walked back home? Yes, sir. Um, did you go once or twice that day? To the daughter's store? Yeah, once. Third hour what time? Well, I looked at the clock, it was 9 21 when I walked in the door. Okay. And then I know it closed at 10. You didn't go around seven something that night? No, I was I, I know for sure I went at it was closed at ten. So I, I sit down, man. Let me get up here now because I ain't got no more cigarettes. So like I know that I know for sure I know that my damn it like nine twenty one. Okay. So you got Too young. Uh -huh. To this point. Mm -hmm. Not the slightest. Yeah, so. I know we talked about him coming on to people and stuff like that. What he on his fields. You ever seen him around anybody else? Mm -hmm. Other than the friends you have. How did your how did your friends feel about him? 
Hey, my friend, um, on um, um, ELT, the light. Yeah. Don't nobody else really know. That's the only people he really don't know. My only friend that he really would come around with ELT. I asked you earlier, I said, um, was anybody else around when he was around? Around my house? Yeah, when he was at your house, I said, did anybody know that he was coming to your house? He said that you didn't know. Nobody, he never brought nobody to my house. I'm saying, I did that. You, any of your friends know that he was coming to his, to your house? Or? Only person I knew was, the, like when I said, when they, Ed and Tina first met him when he came out of that back room. And, but he, he ended up crying that night because she was, she was preaching to him. He, he just had a lot of built up emotion in him. Why should have preached to him? Because he had a lot, because he was, he was, I told you he was freaking out, man. He had a lot of built up emotion in him, man. And she ended up giving him a hug. He ended up crying because he was thinking about his the loved ones that he had lost and he was depressed. He said he said he said apologize, it was the anxiety that I had to build up in him. You know his boyfriend? Uh, yeah. That was that, that that that's what it was too. That that, that that was that hurt him. That he said it was the anniversary of that. That's what that's exactly what it was, sir. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. That's exactly what it was. Did he tell you how you done? Uh. You know, he never asked. I didn't know that. You just say you die. Yeah. Mm. You ever talk about his family? <clears throat> he obviously talked to you about his girlfriend. Or I'm sorry, his boyfriend. But he ever talk about his family to you? Oh uh, no. He only thing he used to say is his sister. But he was more listen. To tell you the truth, man, he talked more about his coworkers than he talked about his family. Especially mm -hmm. when he had. A, I know he had a friend in Elder. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. Uh, Cobrook and Ain Tiffany. Um, there was a couple other ones. He didn't like his boss. I know he called a bitch all the time. Yeah. But he spoke. He was. He liked his coworkers. He, and he loved his brother. I think Austin. Austin. Austin is his brother. Austin. Austin. Is his brother. In their name, Austin. You know what I mean, Austin. I met Austin one time. He introduced me to his brother. When we went to pick him up and take him to work. One morning, what do you say? They were just talking. So you and y'all always in cardio. Ooh, yeah, man, I'm on spoon. You spoon and Austin was in cardio. Yes, sir. So he met. I met Austin. Austin. Yes, sir. How was Austin? Cool. Our first impression. Yeah, because I was in bed one time. They I'm was, asking. That was just. Was they be honest, man. They were the first impression. They was just like brothers, like me and my brothers, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't say nothing. I let them talk, you know. He was like, man, I'm sorry, bro. I'm learning to eat, man. I'm going to get you down time. He got on the time. Everything he went, man, he was probably do it, man. <laughs> he put it in the GPS, man. He, you know what I'm saying? So instead of you, you already know where to go. Mm -hmm. But he put everything in the GPS and shit. Like, cool, man. Yeah. That's what type of dude he is, man. So. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. So he talked about his brother, obviously, Austin. It seems like he liked Austin. Yeah. But no other family? He ain't talking about nobody else. I know he used to say he used to stay down the road from his sister's house. What do you say about that? He ever say he saw his sister, they hung out, or? No, he used to sleep in the car. He used to step the road from his sister's house and sleep in the car? Sleep in the car. Not inside? That's cold. <clears throat> sleep in the car. But. See, that's why I gave him a blanket and a sheet. I gave him a blanket and a sheet so he could sleep in my bed. But since you're sleeping in the car and you ain't got nothing to wrap up with, you can just have it. You know, so he had no possessions. He didn't have much. He didn't have much. Just the clothes in the car? Just, just the clothes in the car. But um, I, I tried to help him out like he was helping me, man. Bottom line. Yeah. I don't believe you was trying to help him. Bottom line. Man. I believe that. Good on. What happened to him, man? I don't know. The last place he's seen is with you at your house. By you. By me. What happened to him? I don't know, sir. Did he ever take his phone everywhere he went? Yeah, he took his phone everywhere. Well, I never left your house. Huh? Why is phone never left your house? Why did his phone go die 
at your house. It died out my house. It got turned off at your house. Why? That's a good question. Cause he walked out the door talking to him. Really? Yes, sir. Did he go out the door by himself? Yeah. And you had the phone, he was talking on it when he left. He was talking to a cobra when he left my house. And he cranked up the car. All that. No. With phone. With the phone. Yes, sir. You sure? I bought him. So the phone company line. The phone company now? Yeah. What you mean? Because his phone turned off from their company at your house. Okay. We got the records. Okay. Is it wrong with that? How do you explain that? What you want me to say? I'm asking. I'm asking you. I'm asking Listen, you, you were the one that was there. We need your help. That's you, what I'm you, saying. You're telling you, us something. What you want me to say? I don't I don't know nobody's fault. You said that about his debit card. I, but I don't know nobody's fault. So he was an avid user of his phone. He's walking out he the door walking, home and talking he, to somebody. He walk, he walk the car starts up. He pulls back. He leaves. You watch. You actually see the car pull off? Oh. Uh, okay. But he's gone. The car I, didn't, I didn't actually watch because I told you I'd leave. I don't know. So, so but he leaves. But you saw him walking out the door talking on the phone. Yeah, he was, asking, he was asking the cobra, did she want, did he want her? And, and we didn't, you didn't find his phone on your property like you found his debit card. He took off. He left. Right? Right. His phone right. makes it to your house. Don't leave. But it doesn't leave. His body is right across the street. At a vacant house. I'm going to tell you what I think happened, man. I think it's one of y'all knows that is, man. To so what? I think Spoon got on those edits. He got his check. He feeling good. As good as he normally feels. Hey, come on, Tim. Let's go to the store. Let me do something for you. And go to the store. Buy you a couple things. Throw a couple dollars your way. Come back to the house. You lay down. I mean, you eat your food, you lay down. It's going to come out happy like he always is. On his eddies. Feeling good. At this point, you feel comfortable. He's giving you stuff. You let him stay there. He, he got feelings towards you at this point. And then he get the courage. Maybe he touched you. Maybe he made you feel some way. Maybe, maybe he said something. Obviously, you ain't with that. He should know that by now. That things get out of hand. No, that ain't what happened, sir. For one, he ain't had no edits. Back then, he said you didn't know if he did or not. He ain't had no. He ain't had. He couldn't fit the script yet. But do you know if he had something or not? Right, you right. I don't know if he had no. But I know he wouldn't, he didn't approach me in any kind of way. He didn't do that. He didn't approach me in any kind of way. Well, he did something. He didn't do nothing to me. Cause I mean, if he, he never if he, left. If he did something, man, maybe it's not a murder. Man, no, hell no. We ain't even finna get in that conversation, period. Hell no. I ain't put my hand, I ain't never doing none of that, man, man. Did nothing to him? No, sir. What time we pick you up? Huh? What time we pick you up? <clears throat> it's 6 o'clock now. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Who was the child's one left? Who did? What did you think they did? They gave you that search warrant. What did you think they've been doing? Searching. Search. <clears throat> what did you think they found in your house? A 38. That's, That's what I'm saying. That's why I was thinking of the accident, man. You didn't shoot him. Hell no, I ain't shooting him. Of course you did. We know. We would have known. We would have told you that. If you would have killed him, you would have shot him. You would have killed him. You, you didn't want to kill him. You didn't expect to. You you thought he was a good guy to you. You you didn't want to kill him. Let me tell you how I know you didn't want to kill him. Because anything he was doing was messy. It wasn't even a good job. 
What you talking about, man? There's stuff in your house. Yeah, very There's stuff in your trash. You using this car. This is messy, man. This phone ain't leaving your house. You didn't try to do this. You didn't plan to do this. I didn't do it, period. Mm-hmm. I, I told you earlier, I like pictures. That helps us out a little bit. So, you telling me you did nothing. You did nothing. Well, I don't believe you tried to do this on I didn't do nothing. That's, that's him, as we found him, just so you have an idea. What? Uh, so, but your house. You recognize that couch? Yeah. That's your couch, right? Yeah. That's where you lay, right? Yeah. You see something missing on the couch? Yeah, something look a little different? Yeah. You see that red stuff right there? It's soaked into the foam beneath the fabric, stuff that you can't clean? Yeah. What do you think that is? What is it? What do you uh, think it is? You tell me. What's the lab going to tell us that is? What's our test they doing going to tell us that is? You don't know? You don't think you know? Tell me what happened, man. No, I don't fucking know, man. What is that? I don't fucking know, man. You don't know. Something that's red on your couch in that phone. That's where Spooner died. I know that's where Spooner died. You gotta move your couch if you're gonna clean, bro. What's that? Here's a closer up. What's that? What's that, man? What's that right there? That big red stain. What is that? That's what I'm saying, man. This is messy. What is that? Not grape juice. It's not wine. You cared about this man, dude. This is your chance, Mr. Floyd. Man, I'm getting a cigarette now. Good night, Phil. You want a cigarette? Good night, Phil. Want a cigarette? What kind of cigarette you want? You do that, Mom? No. What you want? Newport. Newport? All right. Come in. Cole, you wrapped him up. You was hoping somebody found him. But just tell us what happened, man. You don't want to look like the cold blooded guy that just left him out there to cold somebody that cared about you. Did he invade your space? Did he come on to you when you were he obviously told him more than one time that it wasn't like that? I told you, man, those things create big problems. Come on, Tim. Just get to me straight, man. You had every opportunity. I mean, you could have... You, you didn't want to kill him. You... He did everything he could for you. You could have shot him with a gun, but it's not what you wanted to do. You didn't intend to do that, man. I don't believe that. I don't believe you intend to do that.
And you didn't go hide them. You didn't get rid of them. You didn't do any of that stuff. You did a decent thing. Are those the same trash rags that's in your house? That was on the cigarette. Hmm? Huh? Those not the same trash rags? Man, man, go out like that, man. He went for you. What? Tell me what happened. We can't smoke, so that somebody will get it, man. That's why I wanted to tell somebody to get it. Tell us what Tell him what happened, man. So he hits the head on the heater. Did he start bleeding? What happened? So you got to tell him, that's why I told you you got to be honest. I ain't intentionally trying to do that to that man, man. What shit, man? He ain't really need me no damn choice, man. Yeah, I mean, he knew you wasn't down for that. He ain't really need me no damn choice, man. So where'd you put the hammer? It's still in my hole. So what happened out there? Did you clean it? Yeah. What happened out there, um... What, what day did this happen on? It happened on Wednesday. He never left, did he? That's no. He never left your house? After y'all went back to the house? So this happened on Wednesday. So what? So he's, is he, he died on your floor in the crater? No. And I freaked out, man. And what'd you do? I freaked out, man. Damn, man, I fucked up, man. But I ain't asked for that shit. Man. I know, it's in your lap now. And you gotta deal with it. You, he, 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 he hit you. I, you ain't, I ain't asked for that shit. Yeah. So, so what you mean? You did, man. I told you from the beginning, this is your chance to tell us what happened. We wasn't there. The man hit me with a damn arm on my damn foot, man. The man really grabbed, he grabbed my dick, man. I don't know what kind of pier he was on. How did you do that? Did you lay down or stay? I was laying down. Where? On my sofa. You was laying down on the sofa? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And how did he grab your dick? You reach in your pants? He just walked up to me and just palmed my shit. On the outside of your pants? Yeah. But they palmed you on the outside? Yeah. He say anything first? Yeah. Uh -huh. What happened before he did that? Were you eating your food? I ate my food. Is he coming on you at all? What's going on? No, he wasn't coming on to me then. Was he eating his food? He didn't have no food. 
Okay, so you all the food was for you. Yeah, he said he was gonna go get his own shit. So he waited till he laid down. Yeah. So after you guys fight, y'all tussle. What do you? He goes unconscious. What do you do with? I uh, just freak out, man. You call anybody? How'd you? When you freaked out, what did you do? With, how did you? What did you? What did you put him? He was in my down. Kitchen? You left him in the kitchen? Did you wrap him up? I did. I put some under the head so it won't stop bleeding. I should have just called the motherfucker police. Yeah. Is that the plastic bag you put on his head? Yeah, I should have called the police. But I, 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 I ain't put it over his nose. I just put it where the wound was at so it won't bleed like that. I should have just called the police, man. But I, I, I said, damn, man, I don't hit that man down, man. I don't want to be a funny man. They're going to take my word, even though this man don't hit me. Yeah, I mean. You're right, don't look good. He hit me with a damn helmet. Let, let's talk about what else you do to him. You ever try to light him on fire? Hell no. Hell no. So what, that's savage as fuck. Uh -huh. What, what? When you rap, when he came in the living room, when you, he pawned you, y'all fight, he ended up going unconscious and bleed. Right. You pull him into the kitchen? Yeah. When do you wrap him up? <sighs> We're past all the other stuff now. You, everything you straight, man. You, you, had a, you said you had a reason to do it because he hit you, man. Tell me what happened next. Did you put your gloves on? He wrapped his head up. So the blood went everywhere. Yes. And you pull him in the kitchen. What happened next? I sat down, man. I sat down, man, because, man, I was in shock, man. And this is all Wednesday. I was in shock, bro. So how, so you left him there? Did you ever wrap him up? In them sheets? I ain't wrap him up too. When did you, when, what happens, what happens next after that? Take me through everything, man. Honest, and you're coming forward, yeah, man. Because now you're painting a picture. Don't, don't make it look like. Don't make it look like. I didn't kill that man, no cold blood. That's what I'm saying. So don't make it look like that. You know, so that's what I'm asking you. Can I ask you a question? You, did you care about him? Was he about nah, Man, I care about him. Is this hurting you? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. hurting, man. Let, let, let me ask you this. For them co workers, you say they didn't care about him. For Austin, for his family, you say it don't matter, but I promise you it do. Because they want some closure. There are people that care about him. I you want them. Is. So you say you're a person of faith. You believe in forgiveness. You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe in um, the same things your friend believed in. You and I both know that it matters. Tell us what happened. I did tell you no. Well, the rest of it. It seems that you're thinking, oh, it doesn't matter what I say. It does matter what you say. We're listening to you. It just fucked up, man, because I ain't expected that shit. What happened when you go back to the body? He's in the kitchen. Oh. What happened next? Like I said, I said, that, that, that blood on that, that's not, that's not from him hitting my sofa, man. That's from the guy down. That shit I got on my damn shoe. So, man, I just sat on on that, you know, because he would have bled on my kitchen floor, man. How did his pants come off? 
Tell me what happened next, man. What happened when you put him on the kitchen? You put him on the kitchen floor. What happened? I just sit down and look at him, man. And then, does he, does all the <clears throat> does all the Wednesday night? I was in shock the whole fucking night, man. I was supposed to go to work, man. I ain't even fucking go. Cause I couldn't believe that shit, man. I couldn't so you just stayed in the house? I couldn't believe I had did that shit. I ain't want to, man. Yeah. So Thursday morning, what was that? You were gone. Hmm? You were gone. You were dead. Bitch. You were gone. Mm-hmm. So when you realized that, she what did you do next? The what? Okay. She heard me, man. I got to realize, I got to find out, I find a way, man. Get rid of him, man. So what you do? Yeah, I wrap him up, man. I put him on my side. Where'd you put him? You took him out your back door? Where'd you put him at? Those are sheets from your house? I gave him the sheets, though, but the other sheets. You wrap them up and bring them outside? What you, you talking about your back door? What you put, what you do next? You just sat him on the ground? Did you drag him out there? Yeah, too. I couldn't pick him up, he's too heavy. What do you do after you just sat him on the ground? I sat out there with him, man. Just Thursday morning? Where's his pants? Shit, I'm tr- I put them bitches off trying to drag him up. Put them up under my car, man. You put them up under your car? So the white one said, man, because I ain't know what the fuck it do, man. Is that when you went here, his car? Yeah, I got to get his car. Where did you take his car to? Oh, here's cool. What'd you do with it? Put in somebody's trash can. Um, so when you, what happens next? So you get back to the house? I get drunk. I get drunk, drunk, drunk as fuck. Did you clean up the house? Is that the same Thursday? You did him out there all night? Hmm? You did him out under your car? I didn't know what to do with him, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I get it. I'm just asking, man. So what happens Friday? Same thing. You just left him out there in the car. I didn't know what to do. When did you drag his body? How did he get here? What? What a cigarette, man. I need it. Yeah. How did you get here? 
I didn't mean to kill him. I, I, I ain't even do that. Yeah, man, you just jumped up to him. I didn't mean to do that to that man, man. I, I can tell that. I told you, this is why I told you, why I went the whole thing is, it's not, it doesn't look like you tried to. That's why I told you it was messy, man. I told you that, man. Hit me, man. What I'm supposed to do, man. I get that. You see that shit, man. My shit was fucked up, man. My shit was fat like this, man. Yeah, man. With the club part, man. I hit you with the club part. Yeah, man. That man fucked me up, man. How many times did you hit you? He hit me but one. That shit got a little hard. Well, um... How did he get here? I had to pull him across the street, bro. What time? So early in the morning. It was still dark out? Yeah. It was the, how long before the police got there? How long he had been over there? A long time. Before I, before I even got him to live, man, he was over there. So you did take the lift that day? Yeah. What time? Like two in the morning type? You took him over there before? Yeah. Fuck, I ain't gonna see my mama no more. Is that shirt you was wearing when you took over there? Huh? Is that shirt you was wearing? Hell no. What you did with those clothes? Yeah. It should have been the house, man. What about his pants? Where's his pants at? They pants. Okay. I don't know. I think I got rid of the pants. How? I think I thought it was in the trap, bro. What about his phone? I don't know his phone. I don't know his phone. His phone might be in the car. You never saw it? No. You ain't turned it off? No, I ain't turned it off. His shirt was burned up, man. Did you ever try to burn him at all? Burn no. his shirt at all? No. No. Was it already like that? Uh, no, I didn't burn his shirt. I didn't burn him, period. No, I'm saying how how to get like that. I don't know, cause I ain't, I left him out the door. I I ain't sent him on no fire like that. I ain't burn him. You know. You ever try to bury him or get rid of him? No, I thought about that, man. About burying him. Jonathan has been described by friends and relatives who mourn his loss as a vibrant individual who easily connected with those around him. He graduated from Florida State University in 2014 with a double major in psychology and criminology. He seemed to possess a keen intellect and a compassionate nature. Despite Timothy's attempts to defend himself during the trial, the jury ultimately did not find him credible, in part because of his past criminal history and the fact that he had recently been released from a Florida prison he was sentenced to life in prison following his convictions for count one and three, manslaughter with a weapon and credit card theft. Judge Stephen Everett was the judge presiding over the case. Floyd was convicted on November 9, 2022 of manslaughter with a weapon in a two-day trial. Floyd qualified for two sentencing enhancements, prison release reoffender and habitual felony offender. We will have one or two more videos in this case. Let us know if you would like to watch the trial. Until next time.